Look at that beautiful CD-ROM as, CD as it flips through the air. The Discovery Channel. R. It's a big R. And of course, it was developed by human code, as opposed to robotic code. So look at this. Don't you love this? Like, this guy over here, I love this man. Just look at how excited he is about this game. Just look at him. He's so excited. Anyway, new game. Look at that beautiful, beautiful blockiness. Scan traces are showing three tornadoes. Two of them have just been upgraded to F5 status. Current speed and heading indicate that they will intersect Chinook, Oklahoma in 20 seconds. Chinook, Oklahoma. We'll take care of it. That's a real place. I'm not going to let him get away with this. Just doing my job as an infobot, Stratus. <laughs> you guys copy on that? We're tracking you, Stratus. And please try not to show off this time. After all, F5s are nothing to sneeze at. You worry too much, Josie. This is a walk in the park compared to Captain Newton. Think you'll be all right? I've definitely sneezed at my sure, F5 key. Right? It'll be fine. He's done this like a million times before. Not like this, he has. We'll monitor your progress from here. They've never let me play with the cool toys. Hmm. The tornadoes have just hit the trailer <laughs> park on the outer edge of Chinook. Arm a cyclonic missile, Millibar. Full payload. Armed and ready. The environmental solution tornadoes. Fire. Missiles. <laughs> That'd be fuck pretty fucking awesome if it worked. Scan traces show a life form in the wreckage. A human life form. I see him. We gotta get him out of there pronto. Prepare to set down, Millibar. Oh no! Freak lightning storm! from your friendly neighborhood weatherman. And today's report calls for uh, hurricanes, tornadoes, and, uh, hmm, let's see a moment. Something's missing. Uh, ah, Stratos, <laughs> your so-called leader. Well, let's just say he's uh, retired permanently. And your silly little infobot was of no use to me either. As a matter of fact, I don't think she's of use to anyone. Millibar! <laughs> what have you done with Stratos? If you... Uh, 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 I could send a brigade of F-5 tornadoes marching down on your headquarters. <laughs> but if you leave right now, I could be persuaded to spare your life. The budget Jack Black. We can't take that chance. Not after what happened to Stratus. Sound the evacuation alarm. <laughs> take the storm runners in the hangar and go to your secondary weather sites. We'll coordinate remotely and see what we can do. Well, I'd wish you all good luck, but uh, then I wouldn't be evil, would I? <laughs> that's right. Maybe that person in Oklahoma is smoking the out. I love how they don't actually give him any like, backstory at all. He's a weatherman and he's evil. That's it. He doesn't need more. That dude still looks terrified. I'm going to hide. I don't think he's going to be terribly useful for the better part of this game. My weather will triumph! <laughs> it's the most malicious weatherman I've ever seen. It's not a high bar, though. Alright, the actual game. I think it goes a bit faster than it should. I think the sock is supposed to, like, not fly across the screen, but we'll see if we... Oh, that's a paper cup. Multiple pieces of litter. Can I grab anything else? The trailer is locked, left pole's firmly in the ground. I would definitely wanted the pole, I didn't want to like investigate that or anything. Oh, ah, okay. That's another problem with this. Oh, okay, I got wires. Is they were very enamored with the idea of 3D environments. And so you go very fast between them. Let's see. Bolts are rusted, okay, I need a wrench or something. Thankfully I don't have to listen to the robot while I'm doing this. Okay, robot, can we help you? Your shoes start starting to smoke. <laughs> oh, I was hoping for more silly dialogue lines. Oh well. Okay, so we got that off the robot. 
Jungle. I have wires. Criminals. I, 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 I will sp sp spark criminals in criminals in. Oh. I'm playing Simon now. Uh, okay, we'll try again. That one. This is not how wiring up circuit boards works. Very weird. I get the feeling I'm gonna have to fill this entire grid. Or I'm playing like the line game. That's really what I feel like I'm playing. A game for bored children who happen to have a pen and paper somewhere. Anywhere. And it always comes down to the end game where you get to fill in like a million boxes in one go. It was over here? Oh. I wasn't paying attention. The... Make a really weird box. Got it. Thank you. Okay, we double wired him. That appears to be functioning much better now. I am Milibar, the Team Extreme Infobot, and I'm afraid we are in a great deal of danger. Oh no. I cannot locate Stratus on any of my scan traces, and my short term memory banks have been glitched. Sorry. Allow me to access backup information from my database archival. This is unfortunate. My database functionality appears jammed. Unless some way can be found to unjam it, my usefulness is, is, severely limited. If you can find some way to help, I can retrieve the coordinates for Team Extreme Headquarters Ow. and explain further. The database panel is jammed. It really looks like just a CD-ROM drive. Alright, so I gotta find something to unjam this robot. But at least it's shut up now. Okay. Oil dribbles between your fingers. Maybe fill a cup with oil and then we loom up the bot? Auxiliary fuel rack. Okay. It's a lot of oil. Let's see if lubing up the robot helps. Thank you again. That was it? I will now attempt to reinitialize my database functionality. I was really expecting a paperclip. As an infobot my main function is the storage, Stream. retrieval, and synthesis of information. It is exciting and rewarding work, and it is what every young infobot dreams of. Team extreme assignments are often very risky and require both knowledge and chutzpah. Chutzpah. My thesaurus banks seem to be scrambled also. Oh well. My global macro is to provide you with the information necessary to deal with any problem. Global macro? I access either my linear database functions or my context-sensitive help functions. Most of my database archives have been scrambled, but I've been able to collate some background information for your update. Okay. Equipped with the database of weather-related information, especially designed for use of use, the information it contains might come in quite in handy during the course of your adventures. Click on the right arrow button on the lower left corner of the screen for more information. Lower left, click the right arrow. Navigation. Navigation panel is divided into two columns. Left is the chapters. These will always stay the same. Click on the chapter, the articles that will appear on the right hand column. These will change depending on the chapter selected. Okay. I see. I can search. There's an index. And there are arrows, which I've already been using. All right, so I guess I could just look up things. I can find words. Can I, can I type things? B U T T S. Not found. Dang it. Nomen. It's a gnomon. It's a sundial. What? Oh, afternoon. The sun's shadow falls on the opposite side of the... Oh, that's the thing that makes a sundial? That's what it's called? A gnomon? Huh. Today I've learned. Not a very useful piece of information, but I learned something. All right, I don't think I need any of the information in this bot right now. I have located Team Extreme Headquarters, but... I've encountered another problem. Mm -hmm. My atmospheric guidance system is burned out. Perhaps if you remove the atmospheric guidance chips from the Storm Runner craft, you can repair the system for me. I would be most appreciative. Okay. All right, so I need these. Wait, no, don't click exit, and do not, for the love of God, click escape. 
Alright, so I can't open the canopy with my hands. Can I use the stick? This stick has been truly amazing in this game. Okay, welcome to the Storm Runner. Ooh, default font. Get the tube, get a wrench. I definitely want the wrench. I know what I would need that for. Um, is there anything else? Fuel hose, wooden pole. Aha! Some spare chips. Alright, well, let's go do some wrenching, ah, wrenching first before going back to the robot. I want whatever's in this box. Don't know what it is, but I want it. Too rusty. Oh, God, I gotta go get more oil. Figures. I really want us to use every object, like, multiple times. Also, I'm pretty sure a styrofoam cup exposed to oil would start melting if I remember my uh, basic chemistry or something. It's a bad idea. Well, the cup's used up now. Okay, loosen the bolts. I now have a propane tank. Those things are kind of heavy to be carrying around. But okay. Alright, replace the chips. Each chip is coated for one atmospheric layer. Oh no. If the chips are arranged in the correct order, my atmospheric guidance system will be operational again. I believe I was able to recover some atmospheric data from the archives if you need to access my database. It's been a long time since I remember this. We'll give it at least one shot. I think stratosphere is the highest one. I'd say thermosphere is the lowest one. I have no idea. Mesos probably means middle. I'm going to assume that when you get it right, it just kind of latches. But I clearly do not. Let's get our database. That's what we're supposed to be doing here, right? Um, clouds? Find word, strat. Rainbow. Uh, sundial, structure, spectrum, secondary rainbow. None of these are stratosphere. In fact, these are very, very, very limited index. Air masses, no. Special, special effects? Thunder! Pressure, temperature, atmosphere is probably a thing. Tropo, strato, meso, thermo. Oh, I got it way wrong. Uh, strato, meso. I think that's right. Is that not right? Come on. Tropo, strato, meso. I got meso and strato mixed up. And tropo. There we go. Perfect. Atmospheric guidance system is online. Oh my. I am detecting an enormous number of tornadoes in the vicinity. We must leave as soon as possible. I will accompany you to Team Extreme Headquarters and serve as your guide. But first, I need to calibrate my nav readings according to the current wind direction. This is becoming simply embarrassing, particularly for an infobot. Particularly for this infobot. I am missing the most important. My nav readings are solid 555. We're ready to go. From now on, I will accompany you and aid you in any capacity I can. Pray. To access my database or help functions, you need only to touch the appropriate control on my interface bar. And off it went. I really Let's examine the storm runner. Hopefully, it'll be in better shape than I am. All right, do I have control again? What does help actually do? Ah, oh, okay. This just tells me what all the things do. That's really not what I needed. In fact, I couldn't press this until I helped out the damn robot. So, like, this is when I would have needed these things. Let us examine the storm runner. Hopefully, it'll be in better shape than I am. All right. Well, I feel like I've accomplished something major. So I'd like to save the game. You want to know how you save this game? It's nothing obvious. You have to escape. Okay. Type in description. Description? Um, annoying robot. Save. And then I have to quit. Which is why I put the dang icon on this, on there. Thankfully it doesn't take too long to get back into the game, but still. Not a good design. What? No, I forgot. Oh, you're kidding me. I did click load, right? Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up. So it didn't even save. So I guess you have to complete an entire area before it saves. So I load it up. It literally does nothing. Yeah, I have to... Ah, okay, that's annoying. Not... Not good. Well, let's invoke speedrun strats. Um, alright, I need, I need the stick. I forgot to get the stick. The lube. Go into lube place. Acquire lube. Turn around. Go back over here. Steal this dude's awning. Turn over here. 
break this open. Go inside. Uh, grab, no. Grab these things. Steal these. Uh, leave? Where's leave? Leave. Go back. Acquire propane tank. I have no reason to acquire propane tank. Turn around. Get more oil so I can lube the robot. Because that was my dream today. I set out to lube a robot. That's how we saved the, er the earth. Alright. You stick. Oh, I did pick up the cables. Dang it. This is a terrible speed run. I've lost so much time already. This is the part I'm looking forward to the least. Two, three, four. Okay. Spark. Okay. Make a shape like Oklahoma. I got it. I know how to Oklahoma. And then follow the path I already set out. I feel like this puzzle has either gotten tremendously easy because it knows I'm an idiot, or it was never that good of an idea in the first place. Thank you. Thank you. That appears. Blue robot. Thank you again. As an infobot for Skip out of that. Skip out of that. I have located Team Extreme Headquarters. Skip that. Put these in. Uh, was Strato. For one atmospheric layer. If the chips are arranged in the correct Trope. order, my oh. atmospheric guidance that was it. will be operational again. I believe I was able to recover some atmospheric data from the archives if you need to access ah. the data. Tropo, Strato, Mezzo. Perfect. Oh. Atmospheric guidance I already did it. Online. Oh my. Oh no. I am detecting an enormous number of tornadoes in the vicinity. We must leave as soon as possible. I will accompany you to Team Extreme Headquarters and serve as your guide. But first, I need to calibrate my nav readings according to the... Alright, give him the sock. This is becoming simply... My nav All right. readings are... So now, robots in my party. Got it. Alright, cool. I had to reproduce that. That was Let's silly. Let's examine the Storm Runner. Let's go for the Storm Runner. Scan traces and systems analysis show that the storm runner is intact. Barely. Whatever hit it, hit it extremely hard. However, the fuel cells have been completely drained. We must locate an alternative fuel source. How hard can that be in? Oklahoma? <laughs> Never mind. There must be something available that we can use. Man, even the game's dissing Oklahoma. We got to pick up the tank after, you know liberating it, but I think I know what to do here. Put the tank on ship. Good work. Now we need some way to attach the tank to the fuel intake. Use the hose. They never quite trained me in propane tank flight, but I guess there's a first time for everything. Hop in and I will attempt to interface with the autopiloting system. Let's see if this works. Please wait. I, have... I recommend you fasten your seatbelt. This could be a bumpy ride. That probably took a lot longer. As in 93. Here we go. Flying uh, on propane. Hank Hill would love this form of transport. Our propane tank has expired, but we are very close to Team Extreme Headquarters. Strange. I am getting no response from headquarters on any frequency. At the very least, Nimbo should be present. It is extremely important that we gain entry to headquarters as soon as possible. Hopefully, we will find some clues as to what has happened to the weather and to the rest of the team. All right. Now, will you let me save my game properly? Save function sucks. Doesn't even let me be properly paranoid. We have to sit through the cutscene again? Bizarre. Absolutely bizarre. Okay, well, at least we're here in our 360 view. We have the ship we've already looted, and I guess we'll just go inside into the 
giant building. Entry allowed. The security robot apparently does not recognize us without Stratus, and there's no telling where Nimbo is. We will have to find some way to disable that bot. How about can enter headquarters. a big stick? Yes, I want to disable it with the stick. This is the world's like least effective security bot. Um, is there anything else on the screen? I guess there's not. Maybe I gotta just turn around and find something else. Maybe now that we've propaned it up, maybe we can find something in here. Out of fuel, yeah. Weird that's making these weird noises, but that's fine. Storm runner is completely out of fuel. We should be able to find a fully fueled storm runner at Team Extreme headquarters, though. Right, understandable. But I just felt like I was like trying to loot it. It's not leaking fuel oil anymore, though. Good, good for it. We can go off into the woods here and acquire swim trunks. A giant albino. <laughs> it must be Sid. One of the operatives brought him back from the Everglades as a pet, but he accidentally got flushed down the toilet one day. <laughs> I wondered where he got to. What? I would not do that. He looks hungry. I'm not allowed to beat the alligator to death. Maybe the swim trunks will confound him. Don't think he's there is color. Eh. Everyone's a critic. Let's see, off to these woods. This is the site of the Team Extreme Remote Observation Station. Well, it will be when it's fixed up. Hmm. Right now, we mainly use it for launching weather balloons. Do like nice view. weather balloons. So now I have a hammer. I feel like the hammer I could use to disable the bot. Do I need to make a sundial? Huh. It's definitely missing something. Can't argue there. Let's see, let's try out the hand. Let's see if the hammer works. Personnel. Entry denied. Hammer does not work. How about the swim trunks? Maybe that'll overload its. No. Pff. I'm not even gonna try to bullshit that one. Let's see. I don't think I want to use the hammer on the alligator. I think we've learned that one adequately. I don't have any weather balloons to fuck with. Missing important pieces for a sundial. Let's be like another region I can I can look into. Can I go over here? Like there's these woods. There's this hill line. There's the swamp. Is there more swamp? Nope. Just the alligator. Alligator swamp. Can I go beyond this? I'm not sure what to do yet. I feel like I'm missing an area that I need to explore because they've showed me a lot of puzzles. But none of the things I have seem to work for disabling the security body. Not authorized personnel. Entry denied. Try the hammer one more time just to be sure. Okay, well, I guess we could try hammering the alligator. Not the dumbest idea I've had. Hammer. I would not do that. He looks hungry. Yep. That doesn't work. Okay, let's see what we can find. Another. Like maybe there's more paths here than I'm expecting. You cannot use some swim trunks on the air compressor. Can't use a hammer. You cannot use a wooden pole. Can I see the time using the swim trunks? Nope. I don't love how Mac OS this looks. I think it's using the Chicago font. You know, back when Mac OS used to have style. You are not authorized personnel. Entry denied. Hmm. What hint does? There are no hints available here. The game does not want you to have help. I still feel like there's got to be something in this thing. Like one surface somewhere I missed that I could grab something useful from. Like, it's a game for kids. I wouldn't expect that, like, there'd be an object I missed in the prior area, because, like, I left with the pole. I had to use the pole to solve puzzles. Can we examine the swim trunks? Like, uh, hmm, help. I, no. Okay, this will tell you things about their inventory. Will you store items? Click here to pick up items and use them on other things. This storm runner is completely out of fuel. We should be able to find a fully fueled mm, storm runner. Yeah, no. I was hoping to find, like, a thing that lets me manipulate the swim trunks, so I could see if they have, like, something in the pocket. This storm runner is completely out of fuel. We should be able to find a fully fueled storm runner at Team Extreme Headquarters, though. You've made your point. We are going to use this area to obtain weather data and launch our mini weather balloons, but it is not yet complete. The sundial is even missing its gnomon. Hmm. 
Okay. Well, it apparently gives hints that are actually appropriate in areas. The security robot is too fast for us to catch, but if we could find something to throw at it, we could knock its logic processors for a loop. Security robots are tough, but not very smart. I mean, I have things I can throw at it. How about the stick? All right, so I'm probably missing, like, a rock that I have to throw at this thing. Hey, place some rocks in your inventory. You are not authorized personnel. Entry denied. <laughs> this is... Why couldn't I use the hammer? You are not authorized personnel. Entry denied. Like, I feel like I can just walk past this thing. I'm at least glad that violence was, the, in fact, the correct answer. That always helps. Let's see. To open Tumblr 1, convert 11 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius. Okay. Uh, 44. Nope. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'll probably have to look up how to do that. I want to make my sundial, though, since it happened to drop a convenient sundial-shaped object. You know you gotta make sundials. Sundial. Okay, it's about 7.30. Depending upon what time of year it is. Good to know. Good to know. Alright. Ah, uh -huh, yep. Security card. F and knew it. There's always something underneath those. Okay, let's convert Fahrenheit to Celsius using the correct parameters looked up in this game and then typed into Python so I don't have to do this more than once. Alright. Database. Let's see. D -d 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 temperature. Conversion. Uh, subtract 32, divide by 1.8. 1.8 is the correct thing. I forgot the exact constant. I always just use 2. It's usually good enough. So Celsius, 47 times 1.8 plus 32. I guess they're also only going to pick numbers that are really nice for conversion. What? That's incorrect. Oh, did I do the order wrong? Actually, it does seem kind of off. Hmm. Celsius to Fahrenheit. 86. Do I need to use decimals? Like clear. I guess I have to use decimals. 0. 0.8. Okay, there we go. 95 Fahrenheit. 95 divided by 1.8. Wait, 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 wait. Minus 32 divided by 1.8. 35. No, I don't need the keyboard. Why do I even have this dang thing out? Okay, Tumblr 3. 74 to Celsius to Fahrenheit. All right, minus 32 by 1.8. You get... I can't use the keyboard. 2, 3, point... Many threes! Nuts. Celsius to Fahrenheit. Okay. Celsius to Fahrenheit. So yes, we're dividing. Clear. Three. Seven. Point. Many. Or seven, seven, eight. It's a finicky thing or I'm just bad at this. Both are possible. 29 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius. 29 times 1.8. No, Fahrenheit to Celsius. Ah, one net weight. Hold up. There's... Oh, wait. It's a function... It's a fucking calculator. I should have done that earlier. Nine minus thirty-two. Oh. Okay. Well, use the calculator. Sixty-four Celsius times one point eight equals plus thirty-two. Yeah, I really wish I just used the fucking calculator that was in front of me. Using Python was not the right call for once. One side. Security card. Convenient. Requires a security card. Stratus always left a spare around somewhere in case Nimbo locked himself out. It's not very secure. 
What? It... I wanted to use it on the apparatus. Okay, security card on security slot. Woohoo! Somewhere new. Appears deserted, but my scan traces are detecting a potential life form in the hangar. We should take a look, just in case. Well, first, alert, though, we gotta loot. No telling what it might be. Gotta loot this area. Okay, Team Extreme has a another. Oh, I need to enter the time. All right. Why would you make? Oh, that's just. Ugh. Why in the world would you make that your your thing? The time. That. Oh, hey. The time is a combination for a lock is terrible. If someone's watching this, it means something's happened to me and the rest of Team Extreme has been put out of commission somehow. So here's the lowdown. We've been tracking this guy, the weatherman, for <laughs> quite a while. He's crazy. Dangerous. Up to now, we've pretty much been able to contain him. Things started happening, though. Drastic changes in the global weather patterns. And then we received this. You know, they say everyone talks about the weather, but nobody ever does anything about it. Well, that's about to change, my friends. I think you, Stratos, and the rest of your so-called team will appreciate some of the changes. I mean, weather's not just sunlight and showers and itsy-bitsy breezes. It's about power. Change. You see, everything you know as a civilization is nothing compared to the glory and the beauty of the weather. It's true majesty. To watch it unleashed. Let it rain down like... Well, like... Like rain, I suppose. <sighs> I myself am going to unlock its true majesty. I have the keys. I have the power. I know what to do. I have come to my own reckoning. And it is about time. It is about me. It, it's, it's about the weather, isn't it? Well, as they used to say at the Institute, show, don't tell. So, friends, keep your eyes on the sky. All right, gotta watch the skis. You can see what we're up against. If what he says is true, and right now we got no reason to doubt it ain't, and we're in real trouble. He can do some serious damage. Hurt a lot of people in the process. Somehow, you've got to find a way to help us. I've got some emergency supplies stashed in the tank. I also left some cash, though I had to put that in the safe so Nimble wouldn't use it on bubble gum. <laughs> Subzugati. Now it's all up to you. Over and out. We're trying to save the uh, the weather, because the evil weatherman has decided to make uh, to make a hash of it. All right, so we already saw that. We need to get into the safe to get money. Go to the rec room. Let's go to the rec room. Rec room's awesome. Oh, I probably needed to buy stuff. Let's see, I got a roll of paper, a pen, and. A vial of mercury. I'll have to find out what the temperature is at some point. Okay, that's the rec room. Uh, that's nothing. That's also nothing. Can I get in the hangar? Uh, who, who, who is it? No one's home right now. No one but us, uh, chicken. Why is that always the line? Nimbo, let us in this instant. Oh, it's you, Millibar. I saw somebody coming up the list, and I didn't know you were you. And I sort of I locked myself in the hangar. And I don't know where the key thing is. I, I tried beating my head up against the wall, and, and which was actually pretty cool. But now God. I think I stubbed my brain. Stubbed my brain. Nimbo. Not the worst phrasing, actually. Hey there, guys. Hey, did you ever notice that if you keep your eyes shut real tight, for a long time, it really hurt a lot. Nimbo, where is the key to the hangar door? Why did they hire this man? Oh, the key to the hangar door. <laughs> it's a, I ate it. No, no, I went swimming with it. I tied it to my swim trunk so I could eat it later. But now I can't find it. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, door's still there. I think I'll try again a little later. Gotta say, at least his haircut reminds me of Simple Jack from uh, Tropic Thunder, but that's probably the best positive thing I can say about him. 
when I, I think it was about 7 o'clock. Or, wait, not 700. 7.30-ish. Alright, well, I guess we gotta go look at the sundial again. We can also see if we can poison the alligator with mercury. Which are all good ideas. Okay, so sundial's over here. 6.30, oh. Yeah, I definitely messed up that. I was close. Okay, 6.30. So now we can get money so we can buy candy so we can convince the alligator to to let us uh, go and get the key so we can get Simple Jack out of the hangar. All right, we're making progress. Still think this is a terrible way to do a save. It was a single quarter? A silly game. Let's go to the rec room, buy some candy. Get the yum yum bar. E. Uncreatively named candy bar. Very uncreatively named candy bar. And go see an alligator about a key. Trade ya? I don't know why, but I just. Would be inadvisable. Despite your appetizer, he still apparently expects a main course. Trunks? Mercury. What do you mean he expects a main course? Grab the key while he's munching. Oh, super freeze it. I would not do that. I want to freeze him. That I freeze this. All right. He still apparently expects a main course. How odd. Is there is there other food for me to give him? Like, why would you make me solve this puzzle twice? Running out of surface area here. Let's see what else we can find in the uh, area, I guess. Rec room. Do I need to find another quarter? Rec's a main course. Hanger. What's this? If you can gain main computer access level Kappa, I can download oh, Kappa. updated navigational coordinates and a full weather database that will prove invaluable if we are to correct this anomalous weather. Alright, let's do it. Okay, what is a front? A boundary between two air masses between clouds and clear skies. I think it's A. Which of the following is not a name for a type of wind? Uh, Santa Ana is. Willy Nilly, I don't think is. Type of uh, precipitation. Rainbows do not rain. What? It's a, no, it's not a type of precipitation. Okay. Atmospheric pressure. Relationship between surface of water and land. Barriers between air and the atmosphere. Push of molecules against the earth. Why is the sky blue? Uh, blue light... What? Reflection of the ocean to the sky. Blue light from the sun is reflected. I guess that's probably it. Jet stream is a fast moving river of air. What's a hurricane? Uh, tropical cyclone with winds. Uh, aquatic cold front with winds less than. I think it must be tropical cyclone. What causes lightning? Electricity. Now, I mean, that's a pretty lame answer, but sure. Oh, what's up, Kappa? Refraction. Uh, I'm about to get uh, computer level kappa if I can answer a couple more questions, so it should be fine. Why does the wind blow? Because it sucks. Um, pressure, heat, and the spinning of the earth. What is weather? Changing distance in the atmosphere. What causes rainbow? Refraction and reflection of light in droplets of water! It's a good thing that that's their well, way the of has been restored and verified from checking the things. Because the trees sneeze. Online. Nap coordinates downloaded and verified. We are locked and loaded. Sounds very much like a Calvin's dad explanation. We do have a little... Do we have more here? Not really. I could have looked up stuff about hurricanes. I don't need to. Okay, so that's one more thing I was supposed to do. I've already seen this cutscene. I don't need to see it again. Oh, current time. It's always blinking 12. All right, can we go to... No, that's not something to go to. Maybe there's other... We went to this. Can we go to the chalkboard? No. We went to the safe containing a single quarter. Is that true? No, but the truth is a lot more complicated. See, that's the best kind of truth. What do I want this... What did I want this database for? I have no idea why I wanted to do that. Um, okay, that's Blink at 12. We used the sundial, which was convenient. 
I don't want to watch that cutscene again. Can I, is there any other... Like, what the hell am I supposed to feed this alligator? Pen. Like, I've got a lot of options. None of them are very good. Can I get to the next part of the rec room? Nope. Looks like just this area. Where else could I be needing stuff? Use the sundial. Like, I... I've got all this new crap in my inventory, and I have nothing to use it on. Could try to make a weather balloon. I guess I forgot about the air compressor. That's a thing I could mess with. Don't really want to do any of the... Use this on any of them. Like, clearly the mercury is going to be used to fix a... Like, I don't know. Some sort of, uh... Thing in the future. Thermometer. I would not do, I would not do that. He looks hungry. At the alligator. Is a single quarter valuable enough to store in the safe? And then charging for it is entirely... Apparently... That action would be inadvisable. The reason they hid it in there is because still apparently expects a main course. Is because one of our uh, our helpful protagonists um, would have spent it on bubblegum, so it has to be in a safe, whose combination is the time. Alright, I'm not sure what to do here. I, I definitely need the key. The key is the is the thing I need. Let's see what the hint is. always a little cross when he is eating. I would not touch him with a ten foot pole when he has food. I thought I tried the pole earlier. I feel silly. Alright. Up and at them. Now I can get Simple Jack out of the hangar, which I don't think is all that good of a deal. Hey, little bar, little buddy. How you doing? I am not your little buddy, and I have been better. We need to be able to utilize the Storm Runner as soon as possible. I am receiving reports of anomalous or abnormal weather in Britain that we should investigate. In Britain? Anomalous. Ah, cool. Say, can I have that key thing of a jiggy doofus? I was feeling kind of hungry. No, Nimbo. You cannot have the hangar key. What about the Storm Runner? Well, it's okay. <laughs> Finders, sweepers, losers, beepers. That's what I always say. The Storm Runner? Please? Well, uh, when everybody else took off, they took all the other Storm Runners, and, and I kind of like the sort decided to hide. And, well, there was this one storm runner left, and, you know, I always wanted to know how it worked. So, like, if it was hamsters or a gerbil or maybe both. So, I decided to, uh... Uh-oh. Yeah, I sort of took some stuff out so I could find out where the hamsters were, but they'd already run off. And so, I, I, I couldn't get anything back in there to fit. So, I had to step on it, like... You know, like I do with a peanut butter and salmon sandwich when it doesn't quite fit in your mouth. Well, now I just can't quite get things to get anything to, uh, to... Work? Yeah, work. But the, there's some supplies in the locker, so I thought maybe you could fix it. But no one even gave me a key. They thought I might lose it or I might eat it. I was like, I wouldn't need a locker key. They taste terrible. Ah. Everything about that man's performance I find very unnerving. And unfortunate. Maybe we should have to mint condition, special edition, misprint coin into the vending machine. Got st just to get a snack for the gator. Nope, just to prevent that man from buying bubblegum. That's all we did. Alright, so I need the locker key. I guess there's... Oh, that's just the locker. We cannot operate the Storm Runner until we somehow replace the Turbo Mercabulator that Nimbo has broken. Turbo Mercabulator. That sounds like some, a job for my Vial of Mercury. For some reason. Okay, there's nothing in here I can mess with. Or so it seems. Like, but no, that puts me right in there. Interesting time to... Ch yeah! Yeah, how you doing, McEmblem? Yeah, the uh, the Simple Jack character has definitely been a bit weird. Come on! Swim trunks? Alright, maybe, maybe now that he's out, I can get something else off of him. Out of, off of Simple Jack here. No, Simple Jack has wandered off. You're good? Excellent. Um, what? I need to open this. I haven't seen a key anywhere else. 
I still, I, like, have, as someone who's opened a lock with a hammer, it works fine when it's an emergency. We don't have time to find keys, dang it. Alright, so... It's weird that this hitbox extends so far to the right. And so high. Like, you'd expect it to just be this locker. I don't know why it, it stretches. Maybe, maybe I can just start messing with things. Access panel. Okay, cool. We found something. Oh, come on. Probably where I need to put the spares. Um, you know what? Why would I... I know where I can get a spare one of these. We have a working one out there in the field. It's just out of gas. So if we just go there, we can cannibalize it. And, uh... Maybe that'll work, now that I know that I need it, as opposed to standard adventure game logic. Never hurts to try. Sometimes, you know, you hit the plot flags and you're allowed to... Nope. Oh, the robot's gonna start complaining about how it's out of gas and how we can get one in there. This storm runner is completely out of fuel. Yep. We should be able to find a fully fueled storm runner at Team Extreme headquarters, though. You know what's going to do with that air compressor? Do. Hey, yeah, give me a hint. There should be a spare turbo mercadulator in the emergency equipment locker, but without a key, we will need to find some way to break the lock. Without it, that's what I've been doing. Now you have to break... This isn't how metal works! I guess actually it kind of is, but still. That is a glyph reader. It is an experimental piece of technology that Stratus was working on before... before he disappeared. Hmm. It uses advanced fuzzy logic to translate symbols that my cipher banks are unable to handle. Okay, well, we found the turbo encabulator. Cool, that's it? I have interfaced with... That's the only thing he broke? And the best way to do that is to go to the scene of the crime. Yeah, we made that Metal Gear solid. Alright. I think we call that a success. He was a weatherman at a television station in Arizona, but then something happened. Our records indicate that he was obsessed with destructive weather, but the weather in Arizona was normally very calm. One day, he simply snapped. He went crazy during a broadcast and began forecasting tornadoes, hurricanes, and... Hold on. I'm receiving a transmission on one of the Team Extreme coded frequencies. I will display it on the vidcom. Little ball, we thought you'd be deactivated, mate. Down, but not out. I've made a new friend who was resourceful enough to bring me back online. Boy. Well, whoever your friend is, we can surely use your help. I'm transmitting from the Team Extreme substation in London. It's uh a trifle wet down here. Something of a downright washout, actually. The latest thing from Canterbury is that there's been six inches of rain in the past hour, and it doesn't show any signs of stopping. It's a lot of rain. Anyways, our Doppler radar is showing the worst of the storm activity is centered around Stonehenge of all places. What? We're hoping you'll pop by, take a look at things, and report back what we try and see what we can do on this end. We will attempt to determine the source of the storm anomaly, Alfred. Please take care. Stonehenge. Uh, will do. This is Alfred. Over and out. A very odd. Stonehenge was originally built by the Druids as a way to mark the seasons, but my sensors I... are detecting readings that are not the norm for this area. I don't think that's true. But I do not have enough data to draw any conclusions. We should investigate the area. I thought people didn't actually know why Stonehenge was built. Mostly because they didn't like exactly leave notes or anything. Alright, let's save the game. Oi. Yabo. Z. Alright, save. This is still the dumbest way to save a game. Gotta go all the way back and it'll load up from the cutscene. So we have to skip the cutscene and then go back to Stonehenge. Stone altar. Oh boy, maybe I'll get to sacrifice somebody. That'll help solve the weather problems, right? Okay, I'm fairly certain there isn't a friggin' teeter-totter in Stonehenge. Like, 80% sure. See, I don't really want to go... Pfft, London. I stole the sign. Now no one knows where London is. I stole the large rock. Now no one knows where the rock is. The gum is out of reach. I got the stick. Almost touched the gun with your pole. Copper wire with pet. Copper wire with that. 
Alright, well, let's try the other thing, the wooden sign. Nope. Throw the rock at it. Yeah, it worked before. Why does the rock go, eh? Eh. Eh. <laughs> Alright. No one will visit, ever visit London again. Yep, we've thwarted the weatherman. It's a good thing, too. So we have this glyph reader. I have to presume that the glyph reader will help us with, ah, re reading a glyph somewhere. All right, that was important. It's better to be, not be a sliding glob puzzle. In any previous survey of Stonehenge, it must have been activated by some hidden emergency system. Hidden emergency system? Oh man, I hate these things. I think that's supposed to be in the middle, so that's fine. I guess I need to move over to there. Like, I'm not bad at them. I don't think I'm good at them, but... Uh, crap. Like I said, I don't think I'm good at them either. I think I need to flop these two. I'm just clicking, I'm just pressing buttons. No, I, I need that ordering to be different. I need... That one there. So they need over by one. I keep doing the same thing. I mean, the best part is eventually I'll get this mostly, pro very likely by accident. There we go. Okay, those are in the right place, but those need to be flopped. Oh, actually, I missed this. When the hell... Oh, when the hell did I fuck that up? Sliding block... <laughs> Sliding block puzzle would be more fun. Chapels the ritual smells and a dead human sacrifice an altar of his bed. <laughs> what? <laughs> Type of puzzle is probably the most boring you can put in a video game. It's close. I think there's probably some other ones that are more boring, but it, it's a close... It's, it's definitely close. Okay... Um, I need to flop these. And then I need to get that south out of there. I've successfully managed to put it exactly back where I started. Which was intentional, completely intentional. Head. Okay. And I think I'm still not quite there. Oh, there I am. Cool. Did it. Aha! I've solved the mystery of the druids. A compass. I was not aware that the ancient druids used such instruments. The carvings seem to relate to the wind, or the wind direction. Hmm. Uh, sort of this one? It, dude, it's flopping fast. It's hard to fucking tell. Seismic readings indicate that something is ha happening. Oh. Uh, what? We're not going to get to sacrifice someone. Let's go see where that passage leads. Oh. Alright, well, we've successfully managed to use that, that silly thing. Should I want to try using the glyph reader? I thought I saw there might have been some glyphs. Can I use the glyph reader? Nope. I guess it's ha just having it's enough to read glyphs. Okay. Now we've solved the valve puzzle. Guess we'll. G hey, look! It did actually render. That's kind of cute, huh? It actually changed the render. I'm surprised. No access allowed. You have been warned. That bot is a Storm Chaser Series 3000 weather bot, but it has been reprogrammed somehow, probably by the weatherman. We must find a way past it. The answers to a great number of questions are most definitely down there. Okay. How about a stick? 
All right, I'm gonna guess it has to do with the bubble gum. But what kind of asshole th puts his bubble gum up there is a valuable question. Wooden pole, not quite. I feel like I need to make it more poly. Uh, how do I get a bigger pole? Barry, tell how catchy the song is by lyrics. How do they stick it up there? I mean, they could throw it. That, that would probably work. Ah. Is there any... I, I need more rocks. That's how I got past the first robot. Can I get my rock back? No. I mean, I kind of feel like you if you got all the way up here, you may as well, uh, you know, jump over to the rest. Get yourself that nice photo op. I don't know. All right, let's try arbitrary things on this and see what if any makes any difference. What? Oh, it's lightning, so of course I can use copper cable. Take this incredibly hard-to-throw copper cable. Remember, we're learning to save the environment here. Amazing. This room contains technology far in advance of anything possessed by the druids. There are... Rumors of another people, the ancients, who lived long ago. They were supposedly able to control the weather, but there has never been any proof of their existence until now. <laughs> I do get it. How are you doing, Space Glam? It is the age-old question. I'd also like to point out, like, this is supposed to be, like, an educational game, but now we're talking about ancients who had the ability to control the weather. Just, this feels a bit like new school Discovery Channel as opposed to 1993. This appears to be a manual override device for controlling local barometric pressure in case automatic control failed. Just a moment. I cannot determine why, but automatic pressure control is not functioning. We must bring the device online and manually correct the barometric pressure ourselves to stop these storms before the area is flooded. Okay, so I gotta find me a way to read the barometric pressure. You know we said that the lamest thing they could do was have a sliding block puzzle? Now I'm playing memory game. Hooray! Alright, curly braces, triangle. Nope. Left bracket. Nope. Don't have any of those yet. Educational game made by... <laughs> Literally an apostrophe. Or possibly a comma. Ice cream cone. Was this ice cream cone? No, it was a slightly different ice cream cone. Two dots. Curly braces. Man, that sound is actually annoying. The fuck was that? I, I, I'm not going to come up with names for those. Infinity sign. Funky ice cream cone. Mario 3 trained you for this moment. You see, the thing with Mario 3 is you have to memorize all of the things in advance for it to work. Or at least some of them. I was always good at... The thing about it is, like, you could always do the lower right-hand corner, or the corners, and you'd be guaranteed certain things. Uh, triangle with a hole in it was around here. It was down here. Alright. Cool. How about this one? Two dots, two dots. Uh, that one? No. I think it was up... No, it was right... There's the splat. We found the splat. We found that funkiness. I'm gonna call that dick butt. But I'm never gonna have to refer to it ever again since we already solved it. Ice cream cone, ice cream cone. Infinity sign, infinity sign. Left, left. This is far lamer. Oh, it is. St oh, cool, I got the Stonehenge. Uh, what? I have digitized and filed this carving for further reference. In the future, you can access my database to examine the stored image. Convenient. Nine, seven, oh, okay, this is just... These are Roman numerals. Yeah, these are Roman numerals. Okay, I know how this works. Except there's a zero, because the Romans didn't know about zero. I mean, some of them did, but it was mostly a cult thing for the Greeks, I guess. I can take the chair. Oh, now we can get the bubble gum. Oh, that was a... Oh, that was a locker of some sort. Well, let's go get that bubble gum just in case we need it. Because <laughs> I don't know what to do with it yet, but clearly I'm going to want it. Because it's an adventure game! 
Got to love the adventure game genre. And I forgot where the bubble gum is. There's the bubble gum. Use stool to be able to acquire gum using pole. Still have pole in my inventory. I think that's the item I've used the most so far this game. No, 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 no. I don't want to hear you talk about that damn thing again. Can I take this? Nope, I guess the uh, the robot doesn't have any useful pieces. We solved dick butt. Indeed we did. Alright, so now I gotta figure out how to... This is very peculiar. Allow me to consult my database. Get barometric pressure. I figure this has to be a barometer. This item is extremely similar to an aneroid barometer, but it has been damaged somehow. From its heat signatures, I have determined that it was used quite recently. Probably by the weatherman, <laughs> and then sabotaged. I do not think I like him very much. Barometer needs some repair. Um, bubble gum. Let's see. It needs mercury. What do you mean I can't use the vial of mercury on this thing? Give me zero of something. Statement by an utterly dreamed by the utterly deranged. It's not far from the truth. Still needs some repair. But you're not telling me what parts need repair. Can I use the pen? Oh, wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. should use the database to know what a fucking barometer looks like. Um, air masses. Pressure. Barometer. Aha! Rotating... What? Rotating cylinder. Pen moves up and down with pressure changes. Air... Pre okay, chamber. All right, so cool. I need to use the toilet paper. There we go. That is some huge-ass toilet paper. Look at that. Oh, there's still a piece I'm missing. What piece am I missing? Um, I think I'm missing several pieces. The heck? Um, put the vial of. I still feel like the vial of mercury is important somehow. Um, wooden pole. All right, I guess I'll have to go find another thing. I need some sort of stick to connect these parts. I guess, or some other part of the apparatus. But we haven't actually explored this area all that well yet. I feel like there we go. Took a piece of metal. That could do the job. Cool. I, I, that's not the part I had to fix. 25, 5, and fallen. All right. Cool. These locks are terrible. Uh, 2, 5, 5. Woohoo! Uh, what? What? Place cursor in targeting ring to begin. Uh, okay. Apparently I need to, like, blast tornadoes or, or to track air molecules? Well, clearly losing. Oh god, it's so laggy. This is not a very good version of Star Wars. Alright, this isn't too bad, especially because if I wander outside of the ring, it, uh gives me a bit of a freebie, so I guess I could just, like, use that to figure out which direction I need to go before these things gain speed. But still, I think I'd rather just play, like, the 1970s, like, Star Wars game. With the vector graphics and all that. Hey! No! No! Oh! You still got him. These air molecules are peculiar. This is a really engrossing game, and I'm glad that I'm doing this multiple times. Oh, that one almost got away. That one's going to get away. Yes, I know! Oh, that one juked right out. Okay, fine, I should've insulted you, game. It knows. Maybe I should stop shooting randomly, that might be important. Maybe. At least they have the uh, kindness to kind of slow down when they reach the edge a little bit. I, I... Why couldn't I just use my mouse for this? Oh, I'm losing to the weather. Eh, it's just the UK. It'll probably be fine. Come on. Excellent there we go. Work. We did it. I'm receiving reports on broadband weather radio that the storms are already beginning to clear. We should Bizarre. headquarters now to analyze the information we have gathered. Perhaps we can learn what the weatherman hopes to accomplish. 
Oh. Um. Oh, I guess we have to manually return. Because we're going back to the, uh... Mission control, I guess. Alright. Get into our plane. And go! Where's our Ripto? One 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 eight nine nine nine. Goodbye, plane. New weather was complicated. I'm, I'm learning so much. This time from the team XP substation in Cairo, Egypt. Hold on, just a moment. What we've really learned is druids control the weather. Opera told me you were back online. Are we That's supposed to be right, Egyptian? Right? Huh? But we have a big problem. Yeah, the weather, man. I know. Josie had a split from headquarters after threatening to run the place over with a bunch of tornadoes. He made the correct decision. We do not know what he is capable of. Yeah, well, we've got some major level problems of our own out here. The temperature has gone crazy in the last few hours. It's been dropping like a stone nearly 100 degrees according to the instruments. Ooh. I have been able to localize the center of the temperature drop to the Giza Plateau of all places. If you and your new pal can go check it out, I'll stay on top of things here. In the meanwhile, I've got my hands full just trying to keep the camels from turning to popsicles. Thanks, God. Our pleasure, Khalil. Camels and popsicles. The readings here are similar to Stonehenge. This must be another weather control point that the weatherman has somehow gained access to. Curse you, weatherman! Control center and correct this problem quickly. Could be trapped inside a book. That would be marginally worse. All right, time to save my game. Uh, Giza Frieza. Ah, such a stupid mechanic. Like, they really didn't expect people just to want to save their game when they make progress. It's like they never played an adventure game before when they made this. Alright. Frozen thing. We're, we still have our pole, our swim trunks, our vial of mercury, and our glyph reader. We're in good shape. Let's check out the oasis. I think I see some... a stick? Yeah, I want it. Wish I kept my hammer. Alright, so there's something there. I'm not sure what it is, but I want it because it's an adventure game. I see an object here. I want someone's picnic basket. Get the salt, get the thermos. Alright, well I guess that's how we're going to get this object. We're going to salt it. Frozen scarab? Gotta love that sound effect. You can only save on exit? Yeah, that's it. I can only save on exit. I went and looked in the readme and everything. That's the only way it seems to, it seems to work. So, and also, like, the way it saves, it doesn't actually save, like, your inventory or anything. You can't save, like, between areas. You can only save that you're in a new area, which is weak. Okay, shovel. That seems like a very useful object. Oh, Sphinx. I don't even see a thing I want to do with the Sphinx yet, but okay. Clearly, this will come in handy later. Can try going into the pyramid. Um, let's try using the shovel. Oh, wait, this is a different place. Chisel. Left in the middle of a dig. Cannot use magnifying on pile of dirt. Okay, I have the right half of a scarab. Oh, it's one of these things where you need both halves of the scarab to enter the pyramid of doom. Because that's how pyramids work. You just have to have halves of scarabs. Um, I've already used the shovel. Chisel it. Alright, cool. I'm not certain the salt really helped, but I think with this I should be able to go inside the pyramid, presumably. Yep. Right scarab, left scarab. Door opens. I now have a wax seal. Spooky. This has to be a trap. Ingenious. This puzzle would have been extraordinarily difficult for any of the ancient Egyptians to solve. They probably had never seen a snowflake. I wonder who created the puzzle then. Well, this puzzle would be incredibly difficult to solve? Oh, this is like ice... Oh, God, I see. This is ice stuff. I can't tell which thing is which, though. Like, Hmm, I think we need to consult the database to learn exactly what it wants us to learn. Let's see. Weather, humidity, clouds, precipitation, snow? Yep, okay, that's what we need to learn. God, okay. Well, the coldest one is thin plates, then the needles, 
then the flowers... Wait, no. Coldest... Thin plates, needles, hollow columns. Right, let's see if we can actually identify those. This looks like a plate. This looks like a hollow column, so it goes in the third place. This is the flat thing. That. Wait, no. Thin needles are over here. Something like that. Okay. Oh, wait. I've all... No, I haven't gotten it backwards. This is cold. That... It says Sphinx access panel. <laughs> Snowflake crystals at different temperatures. Okay, so yes. Clearly we're doing the right thing. Okay. Thin plates. Then needles. Then stars. Oh, no. Needles. Columns. Then the stars. I... Not right? Let's see that. Nope. Okay. Oh, and it reset itself. Lovely. I think this says it's colder. So yeah, that's thin plates. And then needles. I mean, I'm getting needles and hollow columns mixed up. These clearly are on this side. And then that. Hollow needles. How, uh, needles. Am I doing it backwards? Right the other way around. I. What? Oh, those aren't negative. And they're in Fahrenheit. Which doesn't matter, but they aren't negative. I, for some reason, treated these as negative numbers. That was my problem. Completely dumb on my part. Something happened outside. Oh, Sphinx access control panel. So yeah, we need to go back to the Sphinx, clearly. Ah! Come on, Sphinx. Tell me you did something cool. Oh. Salt! Okay, salt didn't help. Oh, thermos? Can we use the thermos? This remains silly. This probably wasn't as hard back when this game was released. I'm willing to bet this critter was nowhere near as irritatingly fast. Come. Maybe we need to aim for center of mass. There we go. You can't use the thermos on the icy steps. We assaulted it. We go into the head of the Sphinx. The energy signature here is almost identical to the one beneath Stonehenge. Only an extremely advanced society would have been capable of this technology. Maybe the ancients are not as... Hmm. The central figure yeah, in this whoops. carving resembles the Sphinx, while the placement of the two smaller icons suggests that they are the Great Pyramid and one of the Lesser Pyramids. This is obviously a control panel of some kind. What? This is obviously a control panel of some kind. Oh, hey, we can rotate the Sphinx's head. Not sure why I want that, but okay. How interesting. Those mirrors are designed to catch and reflect the sun. Maybe by setting the wheels correctly, we can align one or both of them. Ancient Egyptian laser beams. Position of the Earth at winter solstice. Um, okay. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Um, how did I get that? Special effects. Nope. Sun. Uh, seasons. Uh, I said, did it say winter solstice? Winter solstice. Winter solstice, it looks like we're looking at... What are we looking at? Not a very helpful picture. So you can... I can oh, God. Um, this, this might be a difficult puzzle. Or I'll solve it on accident. You successfully aligned one mirror, but the second mirror atop the Great Pyramid does not appear to be catching the sunlight. Okay. Not surprising. Maybe there's another one of these things, and I can accidentally solve another puzzle. 
This looks like another manual override device, similar to the one we used in Stonehenge to correct the barometric pressure. If we can find some way to activate it, we should be able to use this device to correct the temperature here in Giza. Okay. Let's see. I haven't looked at this. I need an auk. It's a moldy auk. I can mold the auk. An ancient thermometer. And someone has already been here before us and sabotaged it as well. Mercury would run through the hole, use the wax seal. And boom! Mercury! It's negative 25 degrees Celsius. Cool. Um, let's... Oh, yeah, we need to rotate the head or something. Maybe with that, I can reuse this and try to solve again. Nope. Alrighty. I guess we should probably go to the other pyramid. Oh, I have a thermos. I could probably melt this. Yeah. Well, opposite direction, but still. I got knocked. That means I can go to the pyramid now. Once I figure out how to get out of here. Where the hell's the... Oh, where the hell's the exit? Did, did I just, like, completely not note... Like, okay, maybe it's here? Nope, that's that's part of that. Where the hell's the exit? I feel pretty dumb right now. Ah, uh, it's it's, in, it's under. In order to leave the control room, we will need to turn the Sphinx head back to its original position. Ah, well that makes sense then. How you play adventure games? Click on everything and hope for the best. I'll give you all the pyramids. I mean, in this case, the problem is, like, the game, uh, the system itself is just too fast. This game does not expect you to go so fast, and so some things will flip around, or you'll get loading of cutscenes before you're really supposed to. But I'm surprised it's behaving so well. Like, in a lot of older adventure games are kind of touch and go. My cipher banks have oh, no. Those hieroglyphs to mean sunbox. It is apparently a very elaborate lock designed to guard the king's inner chamber. Okay. These look like unknown Pokemons. To proceed, reflect the light into the Eye of Horus. Alright. Oh, we're playing, um... The hell are we playing? It's, um... Mirrors. It's got mirrors. Lights out or whatever it is. Alright, so let's reflect that. See if that reflects. Okay, that doesn't help. That does. Does that go up? No. Nope. Try that one. Oh, there's just a black hole there. Same sort of thing. So what are my options? I guess I can reflect it to the right here, which is something I haven't really tried. That goes up. Dang it. These always go up. Alright. I probably should, like, take notes and do something smart here. So I think what I want is to get it through right about here. Alright, so... Yeah, that, that's a dead end. Right, it's gotta be one of these top ones to start. And that's a dead end too. Dead end. Okay, so I can go down in this row. I could have achieved the same effect that... Well, actually, no. I get up here. Really wish that it did something different. And that does nothing. That takes it downward. Interesting. That's close. Closer than we've been. Yeah, that works. I just want to determine which direction the light turns. No idea. 
I basically did it on accident. These wheels appear to be symbolic of the various arrangements of the Earth and the Sun according to the season. However, I am not clear on either their purpose or their function. So, like, it was a game of lights, or, uh, is it lights out? I forget what it's actually, it's not lights out. It's like a game where there's mirrors that are hidden. Um, so I guess I could toggle whether or not the mirror was going to work or not. And so you could kind of see how it was bouncing through if you assume that the ones that were applied had mirrors at, like, certain angles. But you, it wasn't a very good puzzle. I think that quite literally what I did was the only reasonable way to solve it. Because you wouldn't know which ones have mirrors that were actually effective until, you know, you actually turned it on. So summer solstice, which I think I should have still have up here, right? Uh, June 22nd. I don't know how that helps me. Um, closer to the earth. All right. Still don't quite understand this. I think it turns out like this middle part flipping here doesn't matter and you just need this rotation and that. But other than knowing it was closer to the, the center of the earth, I was not a whole lot of, or closer to the sun during summer. No shit. Both mirrors now seem to be aligned and directed towards the Sphinx. Each one had a mirror at a preset angle. Seems to be happening. The beam of sunlight reflected by the mirrors must be used to activate something, but I'm not sure what. Determine which mirrors along the path. And would you not do that's confusing without seeing, yeah without seeing the mirrors like the normal way like there's a puzzle type of this we have to like determine which boxes have mirrors and other things in them is kind of fun um it's like a classic logic puzzle type you'd find like games magazine but that was not it or on cheap windows 95 cds let's go up into the sphinx's face again i th think Shouldn't? Analysis of the room geometry indicates that the sunlight must be used to activate the manual temperature override device, but we need some way to focus the ray of sunlight exactly. Wh which ray? Where's the ray of sunlight coming in even? Let's rotate the head and see if it helps. Yep, that's helping. You know you've done something right when it suddenly plays a, a lengthy FMV. Okay, so we did that. I want to know the, pre the temperature again because I'm going to have to look this up. 25 degrees Celsius. It's probably going to make me do this in Fahrenheit, knowing my luck. All right, use magnifying glass. Wow. My scan traces show that the manual temperature override device is now activated, but we still need the correct code to bring it online. 25. Negative 25. All right, time to play a silly mini game. Defend the pyramid from. The targeting reticules. Oh, oh. Okay. Got it. Say I'm getting marginally better at this. I'm not getting marginally better at this. Hey, right, there we go. Yeah, in fact, the, like, Earth spinning thing reminds me of uh, Phantasmagoria 1, where you can... And, in fact, I think you have to, in a couple instances, rotate objects in your inventory to, like, look at them. Um, but on this machine, it goes stupid fast. And so you can't really uh, look, at, look at the rotation. Kind of rotate it a little bit and hope. They gave me that one? They really shouldn't have. Ah... Okay, well, I didn't even... God, my thing's not fast enough for this. Oh, God, they're getting way fast. Oh my, give me the dullard version. I can't even get my... Ready? Ugh. That was bullshit and luck, and I'm happy about it. Okay, working theory. Shooting makes this thing slow down marginally. Not sure it's true. Gonna stick with it, though. Well, ah, oh, come on. Well, they gave me one, a bullshit one earlier. Ah, uh, dear lord, I might lose. Oh, that one was a freebie. All right. Oh, that 
was also a freebie. Shoot. Okay, yep, that, that was a complete accident, but I'll take it. Just need one more. I think. Oh, I need two more. Lovely. There we go. God. The temperature is already beginning. So, Papa Luta. Soon this area will become the scorching desert it is supposed to be. I suggest we return to headquarters now. We must find a way to stop the weatherman before the situation grows any worse. We're learning how the weather works with the Discovery Channel. And the answer is that ancients controlled the weather using weird devices in the pyramids at Stonehenge so far. It's actually pretty entertaining. Um, actually, I want to see more of the weatherman. He's my favorite so far. He's like a budget Jack Black, but he's an evil weatherman. And he just wants to, you know, uh, make the weather more interesting because he got tired of the forecast in Arizona being boring. Here we go. Off to our next place. Something is not right. I was receiving downwind data from the Team Extreme Weather Satellite concerning a massive weather disturbance in the Pacific when the feed was interrupted. Some form of electrical interference has blocked the signal. The weatherman is most likely... Oh boy, it's Simple Jack again. Yes, Nimbo. What is it? I'm scared. There is no need to be frightened, Nimbo. Lightning is simply a natural electrical phenomenon. Yeah, so is toothpaste. Toothpaste is not an electrical... Say, Nimbo, how would you like to help us out? I actually like that line. Me? Yes, you. You could send up one of the mini weather balloons <laughs> with the radio. Yeah, and just... The, the mini weather balloon, that's one of those... Looks like a hot dog, right? No. Yes, yes. One of the things that looks like a hot dog. Make sure and it has a radio. I do not want spherical hot dogs. Remote observation station. The play port. And blow it up. We'll be there shortly. Yes, sir, Millibar Man, sir. He is gonna fuck this up. He is so gonna fuck this up. Well, let us hope for the best. He is so gonna fuck this up. Been at a con all weekend. Oh, nice. Are equipped with radios to transmit weather data back to headquarters. The radio should also be able to boost the signal from the Team Extreme weather satellite and break through the interference from the lightning storm. What kind of con? No doubt this lightning storm has been created by the weatherman to prevent us from finding out what he is up to. But what could he be doing in the middle of the Pacific Ocean? Hmm. What could he be doing? Oh, also, this looks interesting. Oh, look at this. This is the best part of this game. Okay. I do not detect Nimbo oh. anywhere in headquarters. Perhaps he was actually able to launch the mini weather balloon, though I would not bet any processor cycles on it. We should be able to find him at the remote observation station where the play port is located. Alright, let me show you my favorite thing about this game so far. I want to save my game. Okay. Nim. Lightning. Rod. There we go. To save the game, you have to quit the game and relaunch the game to, re to get your save back. In fact, before I had a save here, it would immediately push you into new game as well, which was really annoying. Not quite. Anime board games, general geekery. Do not detect Nimbo anywhere in headquarters. Perhaps he was actually able to launch the mini weather balloon, though I would not bet any processor cycles on it. We should be able to find him at the remote observation station where the play port is located. Competitive D&D. Know how that ends. Gotta be aggressive find out where this guy went. How did the competitive thing go? Uh, shit post jokes aside. Well, not really shit post. Baby, baby cake things is actually pretty entertaining. Yep. I, I did just like you said. I got the mini weather balloon thing that looks like a hot dog and now I'm blowing it up. Just like you said. What coding violation did I commit to deserve this? Nimbo, you are supposed to use the compressed air tank to blow up the mini weather balloon. Can't. Why not? But there's no knob to turn it on with, silly. Nimbo, where is the knob to the compressed gas tank? I ate it. Well, he ate it. You guys never let me play with any of the cool toys like the holo tank or the acetylene blowtorch. I had to play with my old toy. And the wheel broke off. And the... 
knob sort of fit. So, then the batteries ran down. No, let me guess. You took the batteries from the radio. Yep. And you left the toy. No, no. We shall just have to locate Nimbus Tor. It is extremely important that we launch that weather balloon if we are to stop the weatherman. Bar, I think I'm feeling kind of woozy like, so I think I'll just slide down for a bit. <laughs> At least he will be out of trouble for a while. You know, the thing is, is like, even if he was, if he was not in the game, it would not make any difference with the puzzle so far. Alright. The, the radio is dead. We need to find some batteries for it before we can send it up with the mini weather balloon. The weather balloon everyone was freaking out about? Yep. Went pretty well. Module's good. DM was reasonable and loved to narrate stuff. Oh, that must be fun. Must have been fun. Gotta go find his fucking toy. Hey, good. It's not here. Knowing him, it's probably with the alligator. Nope. Hi, Sid. How are you doing? Stab! Okay. <laughs> Sorry to bother you. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Something again. Still Giant albino so, alligators. Perhaps we should leave him be for now. Kind of. I do appreciate that, that there is at least a line here for trying to stab the alligator. <laughs> Alright, in retrospect, we do not need to stab the alligator. Alright, let's go see if we can find his toy. I'm gonna guess it's in the rec room if I have to make a guess right now. Table almost won, missed some stuff, and the whole scoring was silly. In fact, the whole concept was silly, but it's a lot of fun. Yeah, silly can help a lot in D&D. It's a lot of fun. In fact, D&D &D last night... Oh, there's a toy. Um, we quickly discovered that... Uh, well, not quickly. We were in some place, and there was a lot, lots of undead. And there was a pink shell guarding this, this building. And so we got through the pink shell and defeated some undead. And we go in there, and you know we're talking to the guy who's inside, who was a bit, bit off, clearly. And... Uh, and as we're walking through, talking about paintings with their faces scratched off and things like that, and he talks about this this really nice painting of this this guy. He's got long hair, you know, he's a little bit bald in front, and you know, he looks very angry. He's in like this yellow sort of thing, and I just like, oh god damn it! I just realized this is just Ghostbusters too. And in fact, two lines later, it is yes, this painting of Vigo the Carpathian. So that was silly. The knob to the compressed air tank is missing. Without um, it, we cannot use the compressed air tank to inflate the mini weather balloon. We will need to find that knob in order to turn the tank on. Or off, for that matter. I have the knob! They gotta fix the radio. How's the radio busted? The radio is dead. The radio is dead. Right, the radio is dead. some batteries for it before we can send it up with the mini weather balloon. Because the batteries, right. Okay. A pink shell? Yeah, um... Let me see if I can pull up a, a picture. I can't put it on stream, but... This is described as an opaque pink shell from Ghost, like, and it's exactly what, what you see in Ghostbusters too. Uh, uh, art building. See if we can find find it quickly on Google. Yeah, it's close enough. How would city agencies respond to the slime-covered building in Ghostbusters 2? What an odd question. Anyway, it looked something like that. That's the, the opaque slime. Okay, is there anything else I can manipulate on here? With real exploding action. <laughs> okay, I like that. Just batteries. Okay, there we go. I just didn't see it say batteries earlier. Oh man, these are like D-cells. Look at that. That's some batteries. All right, cool. We fixed. We, we know what to do here. Um, push down. Yep, indeed, it is a thing. Ghostbusters Two is actually pretty decent. Like I, most people would say, it's the less of the two movies, but they're both very good movies. So. <laughs> I'm not sure what I expected, but that was pretty funny. I asked uh, someone if he had Summon Statue of Liberty as one of his spells. Because that would be convenient for taking out problems in Ghostbusters 2. Uh, okay, main computer is over here. 
There is something very peculiar about this terminal. Uh. Just a moment while I interface with it. No, I most certainly will not. You keep your private key encryption algorithm to yourself. Thank you very much. Mm. The nerve of some dumb terminals. Saucy. However, I cannot blame it for its behavior. It has apparently been infected with a computer virus created by the weatherman. We will have to pass the access test in order to purge the virus and use the terminal. All right. What is America's deadly... Where did America's deadliest flash flood occur? Oh, God, how would I know that? Texas. No. Strongest surface wind in the world was recorded at... Mount Washington. I actually know this. Yeah, Mount Washington. I actually knew that one. <laughs> Don't know why, but I did know that one. <laughs> Which place in the U.S. has received the most snowfall in one year? You know, that's a, that's a tricky one. I, I don't think it's Tahoe. Rainier? Yeah, bullshit guess. Rainiest place on Earth. Oh, Seattle's not in here. Um, okay, for one, that can't be right, because that's too many year, days in a year. Brazil, Hawaii. You know, I'm going to use Hawaii. Hawaii's pretty rainy, as it turns out. Which person holds the record for being hit by lightning the most time? Who wants these? Uh, it's not Ben Franklin, obviously. I think that's these are ridiculous answers. I'm going to go with Roy. I was wrong. Uh, name of the hurricane that occurs in, in the northern... Uh, that's a typhoon. America's deadliest flash flood, Texas. Oh, wait. No, that was wrong the first time around. What weather condition ruined many American farms? Uh, yeah, that's the Dust Bowl. Uh, that'd be uh, drought. America's deadliest weather disaster? The Great Blizzard, Lightning Shower... Oh, this was before Katrina. Ah, oh, man. Hurricanes tend to be a lot worse than everything else. I'm going to go with a hurricane. What type of weather condition kills the most people? Uh, tornadoes? That must be something else then. Uh, Sparky. That was correct. Ah. Oh, driest place on Earth. Chile, Australia, Kazakhstan, Zimbabwe. I think it's in Chile. I think I know that from Top Gear. Um, which place has experienced the coldest temperature? Um, Canada. Oh. Experienced the hottest temperature. <laughs> Libya, Death Valley, Easter Island. Well, 150 degrees isn't that much anymore. 115. I've, I've, I've been out in like 110, so it's not that. That's silly. Uh, you know, it's either going to be... Uh, that, those are both... All, these seem too high. I'm going to go with Libya. Who was, the, what was the freshwater fury? What the fuck is this? Um, that sounds like the kind of thing you'd, you'd say in Nevada. I don't know. I now have access to the Team Extreme Weather Satellite data feed. We can examine the information in real time at the holotank. Um, it's not copy protection. I'm willing to bet that if I looked this up, like, I could have looked up several of these things, like lightning. Let's see, lightning. Um, scroll down. See if we, yeah, see, one man, Roy C. Sullivan, was hit by lightning seven times. So, yeah, I, I guess that would have been the answer. Seven times. Man, that's a lot. But I, I suspect if I poked around in this database, I would find all the other answers, but I'm, I'm lazy. The main terminal? Ah, more FMV. From the now. That the oh, it would be way more BS. That I previously detected is in fact a hurricane. Actually, a hyper-hurricane. Ooh, hyper-hurricane. Nothing more than tremendously efficient heat engines. They use heat energy the same way a car uses gas. I have triangulated the location of the energy source that is feeding the hurricane, but it is several miles beneath the ocean surface. Luckily, the storm runner has a submersible mode that will allow us to travel underwater. Convenient. We should leave as soon as possible to investigate. I am sure that somehow the weatherman is involved. I don't know about that. So, like, copy protection sometimes would require knowing, like, actual things. So I think we had either a baseball game or a football game where they had, like, real statistics of players that you had to enter in at some point. Um, it, not everything's like dial a pirate and where in the world is Carmen San Diego also just came with a world almanac that was accurate for that time so you needed that specific almanac to answer the questions that were actually in the game which was a form of copy protection because ain't nobody gonna actually oh this is the wrong storm runner Pfft. ain't nobody actually gonna you know photocopy the like 200 odd pages 200 maybe 300 pages in that almanac and I say that as someone who did, in fact, have a legitimate copy of Where in the World is Carmen San Diego growing up. Uh, not the rec room. Hangar. Off we go to the Hyper Hurricane. The worst type of hurricane. God, I love the blocks in this. 
nearly 20 miles high, 500 miles in diameter, with wind speeds of over 300 miles per hour. Hold on. I'm receiving a coded ultraviolet priority transmission from our Team Extreme substation in Okinawa. This is Josie from Okinawa. We're currently reading a storm surge of over 12 feet, and it's rising rapidly. Wind speeds are at the and pressure's falling very quickly. We've lost our radar feed from Japan, and all satellite imagery with it. Yeah, Sierra liked trivia, too, for their hot the protection sometimes. You know, Incredible. I wasn't expecting it to actually have a splash. Underwater. Ooh. There are many legends of underwater or sunken cities, but they are all about the same city, the city of Atlantis. <laughs> this must be Atlantis. Go into Atlantis. I located a method of entry. Hold on. Oh, this game. We're learning so much about science. The traces are picking up an energy signature identical to the ones from Stonehenge and Giza. Atlantis is probably another weather control point that the weatherman has used to create the hyper hurricane. And this time, we may have a chance to meet the Weatherman face-to-face. -face. Ooh. I want more Weatherman. He's been the most entertaining character so far. Um, yeah, speaking of Sierra games, I believe Leisure Suit Larry came with uh, copper protection that essentially was questions they would expect only people over the age of, like, 30 to know off the top of their heads. Like, vice presidents, older vice presidents and whatnot. My analysis indicates that this pedestal is part of a complex network of similar pedestals scattered throughout the city. Hmm. Those controls on the pedestal probably affect local weather conditions, but my cipher banks are unable to provide any more information. Sorry. Would have loved this as a kid, yeah. I'm a fan of these, because like these adventure games would be a lot shorter than uh, than your average, more modern adventure game. Water, water everywhere, and more than you could drink. Um, that's the same pedestal I went to before. Uh, is that something interesting? Ooh, another pole. It stands to reason that these gangplanks must operate according to some principle of the weather. A force that would push against them to swing them back and forth. Mal weather in extremis. <laughs> Bad weather. Extreme. I guess that is a pretty good indicator that we might meet the weatherman here. Oh, I should save. Ah! Save game. Mal... Weather extreme. Yes. Okay. Still the lamest way to do this. Okay. Now, if you did want to play, like, one of these sorts of games, I would recommend EcoQuest, the first one. It's actually quite a lot of fun, and it, it's not nearly as silly as this. I mean, it has talking dolphins and everything, but it's still not nearly as silly as this. So if you want to get the big coil, I need to have some sort of plank. I, could I try My this? My indicates that this pedestal is part of a complex network of similar pedestals scattered throughout the city. Those controls on the pedestal probably affect local weather conditions, but my cipher banks are unable to provide any more information. Sorry. Okay. I'm gonna try pushing everything down to see what happens. Nothing seems to have happened. Alright, so there's there's two of these, and I keep getting confused about them. Ooh, a flag. This panel looks like it might allow us to gain entry to the pyramid, but it appears to be deactivated. We need to find a way to reactivate it. I guess pushing the button wasn't an option. Okay, so we gotta reactivate the device. I have swim trunks. Can I go swimming? No. Got this flag. I think what I probably want to do... Can't use it. The tattered flag on a flagpole. It stands to reason that these gangplanks must operate according to some principle of the weather. A force that would push against them to swing them back and forth. Alright. So... Like, what am I doing here? So like... Oh, lose a glyph reader. Pfft. Pressure. Humidity. Temperature. Okay, so that makes a lot of sense. And these seem to have actually stuck, unlike the other ones. 
put them back to, to this, and it's the same glyphs, presumably, you know, pressure, humidity, temperature. Okay. Maybe bring them up. Oh, okay. Ah, I understand now. Ha! Okay, cool. From here, the ancients could watch as ships from across the globe traded at the plaza below. What an incredible sight it must have been. Can you imagine? And then they disappeared, like Stratus. I wonder if the same thing will happen to us. Hmm. The winds die down, okay. Alright, so I can use this to just... This is an elevator. A weird fucking elevator, but an elevator nonetheless. You seem to have created a pressure gradient. My sensors are now detecting a wind blowing across the plaza. Perhaps these controls use the wind to move those gangplanks. I'm not sure what I'd want to do to move the gangplanks. I think that looks... Gale Force winds. Alright, let's try that. The winds die down. Alright, so apparently I need to be smarter about what I'm trying to do here. Maybe I should go look at the air look down there with the compass. It's like I want to move a gangplank here, I think. I decided like a sound-based puzzle or not. <laughs> Ancients. Uh the absolute perfect emote for this entire game, surprisingly. Gangplanks were probably used for loading and unloading ships that came to the city. And that other craft, that must be the weatherman's ship. I guess he did not want us taking a look at it since he left us with no way of getting over there. Okay, so I want to like move, I think that's the, the answer right now, is I want to move and get into his ship maybe? So we use this to go up. Not sure what else I want to use this for, but it definitely takes me up here. Like, maybe now that the flag's been set, I could go put the tattered flag on there so I can actually see what the hell I'm doing. Like, that might be an option. So I control the weather in here, which is still weird. I still think that's dumb that I can't use the tattered flag on the flagpole. Okay. Oh, no, wait, that's the wrong one. So like, there's two possibilities. One is that I just want to get into his ship, and the other is I need to figure out what the hell the other one does, the other thing does. Those green lights don't seem to do anything. So I can blow it this way. Wind is really blowing. Gale force winds through the plaza. They sure do. Do I need to learn something about how wind works? I feel like blowing that way is what I want to do, but I guess not for the time being. Maybe go fuck with the other one for a bit. Like, these don't seem to apply consistently. At least I haven't been able to figure out how to make it apply consistently. Like, nothing happens there, so I don't think I can do anything there yet. I think I do- I'm stuck having to solve this puzzle. My pattern recognition banks have analyzed the gangplank and concluded that it can be extended using a sail. Wind pushing against the sail would cause the gangplank to swing out, or to swing back in. There must be some way to control the direction of the wind. But first, we need to find something to replace the missing sail on the gangplank. I don't know why I couldn't have used the tattered flag and instead had to salute my shorts. But that was definitely the thing I was missing. Didn't even think about putting the shorts on the flagpole. <laughs> there we go. And then I did the right thing and it worked because that's how this works. Flagpole. Sheesh. Okay, so now we can get out to his ship. Hello, Dr. Rainwater. All evil security measures are in full force. I will open the door as soon as you input the correct combination. Thank you for your patience, you evil genius, you. Blood. Lightning. Tornado. Hurricane. Ah, Dr. Rainwater, are you feeling alright? 
Surely you wouldn't have forgotten the code. I would need to remind you that you need to rank the weather phenomena on the keypad from most deadly to least deadly. Okay. Uh, most deadly would be hurricane, possibly flood, tornado, and lightning. There we go. Welcome back, Dr. Rainwater. I hope your evil plans are going well. And what a polite AI. All right, so... <laughs> Adventure game logic indeed. How you doing, Squiggles? Yep, with the with the cat. <laughs> I mean, the best part of that about that entirely is that none of the car the person you're impersonating doesn't even have a mustache. Okay, return overdue videos. Stormy Monday turned in. Groceries. Delightful tornado salad seasoning. Need chives and onions. Two servings. Send birthday card to Dr. Scott. Care of Institute for the Deranged and or Evil Meteorologists. Unleash evil weather. Destroy world. Tomorrow? Vote. Get gremlin from shop. <laughs> Mechanic B. Shatner. Uh, imprisoned Stratus. Well, he's only accomplished one of those things. At least we know where Stratus is. Probably imprisoned. Um, anything else in here to poke at? We'll get them another magnifying glass. We could have taken the, that one from the last time. Crystal beaker. Okay, those are interesting objects. I want to steal his VHS tapes. We can't even take the note, but we're going to loot everything else in here. We take it for a test spin? No, that'd be too much fun. All right, well, I think with these objects, we have the things we need to do something. The question is, What? Let's see how about this? Can I can I throw the crystal crystal be breaker? Crystal breaker. What the fuck's a crystal breaker? Uh, yeah. One day I need to actually play Gabriel Knight three. I've played one and two. I'd like to play two again. And I played uh, one on stream last uh, Halloween. I might do two at some point in the vaguely near future. Once I get my request queue down a little bit more. All right, so I've got a magnifying glass. Is there any other spot here that I could go to that was cool? Nope, I think that that's the only spot it opened. Tube at top, tube at bottom. I don't really have any more use for the wind thing, so I think I'm done here with this tube. Only played the first one. The second one's really good um, if you like FMV games. If you don't like FMV games, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, but it's fairly kind. There's some spots where you can kind of get stuck, and the uh, final confrontation is a bit of a pain in the ass being sort of an extended uh, logic puzzle of sorts, logic maze of sorts. But I can say that without spoiling it too much. Um, yeah, I either have to interact with this object or that object. Not that object, the other one. I'd like to get this coil. Yeah. If these pedestals do control local weather conditions, then we should be able to use one of the three weather components, pressure, temperature, or humidity, to cross over that water. Oh. No humidity. Maximum sunlight. Some pressure. FMB games amuse you. Not sure if you dislike them or not. Like you dislike them. That's, that's pretty reasonable, actually. I have no idea if I'm doing this right. I guess I should find out what the atmospheric things that cause floods are, maybe? And do the opposite? Let's see. Humidity? Nope. Clouds. Uh, special effects. Lightning. Thunder. Light rod. Rainbows. No. Hurricanes. No. Safety. Floods. Uh, nope. That's not going to help me. Pressure? Hmm. No. I don't think this, those help either. Floods. Drought. Uh, da, 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 da. yep, that's not helpful. Nothing about barometric pressure involving floods yet, though. It's kind of what I would have expected. Yeah, none of that's helpful. Like, I feel like th this is humidity, right? Yeah, humidity and sunlight and temperature. If these pedestals do control local weather conditions, then we should be able to use one of the three weather components, pressure, temperature, or humidity, to cross over that water. This is one of them. Uh, 
Like, I... Hmm... Use one of them? Okay, we'll just reset it and try each one until it does something. One of them. Alright. Something else I need to do with this? Control local. Oh. Use two of them. If these pedestals do control local weather conditions, then we should be able to use one of the three weather components, pressure, temperature, or humidity, to cross over that water. No, she said one. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Like, I'm not sure what I want to do here with regards to trying to affect the weather. So, like, what I went for here was under an understand, or the other one was an understanding of Boyle's Law. Like, you can raise and drop pressure in relation to both the temperature and the air pressure. Like, PV equals NRT. So, volume goes up, I go up. But the up, and, and of course, this is independent. We do not care about humidity when dealing with this. It probably matters in some, like, micro sense, but not in, like, an actual engineering sense. Here, I don't know what it wants me to do. Like, I feel like I could raise the humidity or lower the humidity, like, by throwing, at, like, two of them at once at a specific railing point. It seems like a reasonable idea. Since that worked with the other one. But... Doesn't seem to want to work here. Okay, do that. Put this one in the middle. Do that. Put that one in the middle. Um, and then do this. I mean, we're trying that. All right, maybe we're not supposed to do that one yet. Maybe there's something I don't know yet that's important. We'll see what they say about fixing this. No hints are available. No hints are available. So apparently, however, I need to fix this. I can't fix it till going through this. So there's, this has to be the right place to go. Has to be the right place to go. Let's see. Okay. That back. Oh, maybe I gotta reset it every time. I don't know. Is there a button to make it do things? Water. Could try lowering temperature. That seems like a reasonable start. Wait, oh. That's what I needed to do. I guess it was all three. Huh. Ice bridge. I was trying to dry this up. I did not play that smart. Even with the hint. The massive equipment here would seem to indicate that this was some sort of engineering center. But all energy readings are now flat. Some of this equipment may have been used to provide power to other parts of the city. All right. Ooh. There's a cool breeze blowing from this machine. Okay. I... Alright, I turned on the air conditioner. Cool. Oh, not another one of these. This carving looks like a power flow diagram. That large image on the right most probably represents the power generator. However, something seems to be missing from the center of the diagram. Yeah, way ahead of you. Control room, entry, power flow. What is actually, like, reasonable de glyph translation here? Or if it's just random bullshit. But alright, we fixed that. I don't know what I'd want to do with this. My 
my energy readings are now spiking. That turbine is generating tremendous amounts of energy. Okay. What I've learned is just play with these until something happens. Machine is not active. Try the power button. Cool. We turned on the flux capacitor. And the air conditioner. So... No, that's no longer on. I guess we have to do something after that. Ouch. 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 Is there any... Like, I don't know why I turned this on. All it does is hurt me. This is not a very useful machine. This is still lightning-y. Okay, well, let's go try the machine then. I don't know. Maybe something's changed. Turns on now, right? Well, that was not very helpful. Allow me to consult my cipher banks. My cipher banks are not very good with code breaking, but I have been able to determine that a green indicator corresponds to a correct symbol in the correct place, while a yellow indicator is a correct symbol in an incorrect place. Oh. Red indicators show symbols that are neither. You should be able to use these indicators to deduce the sequence of symbols that will open the door. It's mastermind. Okay, so there's two of these that are in the wrong... Oh, one of them is in the wrong place. This is probably an M. I mean, a big W. Um, we know there's no weird TK symbol. Let's try that. And this. Alright, this thing needs to be the splat. Or, no, wait, we already did splat. Um, there's an H. Let's try that. Okay, the H is in the right spot. TK? I guess there was a TK. Ooh, we get to meet him. He's doing something. He's doing science. I can hear the test tubes. I can hear the beakers. I still think he's a budget Jack Black. This technology, I can send hurricanes the size of California just spinning around the globe just like that. And like that. Technically, I could send them like that. that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm beginning to float away myself. Tsunamis, floods, tidal waves, and those, those are just appetizers. <sighs> I love this guy. I'm sure the results will be quite impressive. <clears throat> you get a chance, you should stick around. You really got to be getting back, huh? Double part. Got the window cracked. <laughs> yeah, the evil bow tie definitely sells it. I'm surprised he didn't like assault us or I don't know. You know, he doesn't have all the mar it's he clearly doesn't have all his marbles. Squiggles. He clearly doesn't. Don't worry too much about it. A hygrometer. So I have not seen one quite like this before. This must have been used by the ancients to measure humidity. It's a bucket with a goblet underneath it. I now have a bucket. Cool. Um, I stole the bucket. What else can I steal? Hey, what are you doing over there? That's 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 not important. I wouldn't even bother this with that. Don't bother, good hour. Just leave it alone. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> he seems cool with us poking around. Manual override terminal power flow. Access code red, blue, green, purple, yellow. Look like possibly they're buttons. Maybe I need to... Alright, well that was helpful. Hollow cylinder seems designed to hold something. The pole doesn't fit. I'm gonna try the flag. The flag. You should do something to the flag before you place it here. Combine flag and bucket. I actually don't even know why I want to do this. Okay. Um. We must hurry and find a way to deactivate the uh, okay. can cause any more damage. I need a... What do I want to do with my bucket? Strange contraption. We know it's a hydrometer. What am I going to do with this bucket? I mean, other than the obvious, I guess I should, could fill it with water. Fill bucket. Bucket of water. Cool. Do I want a wet flag? Nope. Love it when the boss in Adventure Game just sits there waiting for you to do stuff. Yep. Maybe the water should be in a different state. 
I should freeze the water? Oh, I have, there's, a, there's a water freezing device. Right, I can freeze the water. Not sure why I want to do this once again. But it's a thing I can do. Freeze water. Oh, so it's actually like a blast chiller more than a uh, thing. So I guess what I could try doing is making the flag electrical. Electrocute flag. The flag bursts into flames. I can't believe I did that. That was actually the right thing. All right, we're making progress now. Got our ice water for some reason. Put that in the hydrometer. Oh, oh, that's why. Right, you can use the the dew coming off of it. Ninety nine six. Okay, that's going to be important later. I forgot about that. And then use this so that we can make, I guess, rainbows. Um, the color that was red, blue, green. Oh, I need to poke it in the right order. That was it. Put that on screen. Red, blue, green, purple, yellow. Took out the fuse. He's confused. in the local humidity. The weatherman has so unbalanced the humidity control system that Atlantis is flooding as we speak. Mistakes were made. Nope. Gotta go. <laughs> he just leaves! I mean, he didn't even like, try to push us off or anything. Just don't, nope, just leave. He just straight up leaves. We will need to replace the breaker for the terminal before it will come online. Hurry, time is of the essence. Well, where would I re Oh, I need to replace it here, because that's where I took it from. He could have easily stopped us. The energy signature here is identical to the ones from... 995. This must be the control center for humidity, and there's no telling what havoc the weatherman could wreak from here. That worked, even though I overshot by one. Oh boy. See, I swear they get faster near the end here. It, actually, you know what? I, I think really I should have noticed that the... They follow a path in accordance with the weather pattern. And that makes it so you can kind of predict where they're going. That might have been the thing I really needed to have figured out in the last two uh, two areas. Rather than just assuming that this is an RNG-based sort of thing. Even with that knowledge, idiocy still occurs. And overshooting. Overshooting still happens. Somewhere around here? Nope. Somewhere around there. It does help that this particular... Ah, type of weather phenomena is much more predictable in its being a circle than other ones. Alright, and they've turned up the speed. Oh, come on, they should give me that one. Yeah, once you get to 50%, it goes faster. This is also true. Yeah, I'm with you. It's incredibly awkward. I wonder if it's like a consequence of this being made in like Adobe Director or whatever. Or uh, Flash Director or whatever the hell it was called. Because this, this game feels like, like it was made in, in Director. I could probably look it up to find out if that's the case. Ah... Uh. No! No! Yes! Oh, come on. I overshot. Got like three more to go. Then I'm done with this stupid weather machine. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. The weather wins again. Really shouldn't have bet against it. Ah. 
I'm not in danger of losing yet. Well, now I am. There we go. Accidental win. The humidity just in time. Let us return to headquarters. If we are lucky, our satellite was able to track the weatherman when he fled. You know, I find the city interesting, but just a little creepy. I will be very happy when this is all over and things have returned to normal. Yeah, trackball seems like that would have been more fun. How you doing, Fisk? We're going to defeat the evil weatherman, who's kind of like a low-budget Jack Black. In his rush to escape, the weatherman has dropped something. Okay, well, that's good to know. We should probably pick that up before trying to leave. Got the key. Ooh, it's an old-school key. All right. Let's see the next cutscene. Mission incomplete? No, oh, no, mission completely complete. Back to Oklahoma! Wait, why are we going to Oklahoma? SATCOM, the Team Extreme Weather Satellite, has successfully been able to vector the weatherman's destination, and you are not going to believe where he is heading. Oklahoma. The computer told me. Welcome home. I should have known that the weatherman would want to witness the destruction caused by his tornadoes firsthand. Why? And what better place for a hideout than a trailer park in Oklahoma? I can name several reasons why that's not a good idea. But I guess that means we can go inside now. Aha! This is where he lives. Funny. Somehow I would have expected something more evil. Yeah, me too. As I suspected, my scan traces show that there is more here than meets the eye, but I cannot be certain exactly what that might be. Yeah, I almost wonder what's in his evil fridge, or behind his evil throw pillows. Actually, you know what? Before we engage in the evilness, I'm going to get up for a quick stretch break. I've been sitting for two hours, and we'll be right back once I detangle myself. Clearly, you pressed the ominous red button. No, I realized I didn't even press the right button. we got to save first. Trailer Park Dreams. All right, and then we do the rigmarole. Because you have to in this game. Don't understand why they made this save load and save system. It's complete garbage. But is what is. Okay, do this. You cannot use the key on the locked door. I mean, you can. Guess we'll push the ominous red button now. Umbrella, go! The ozone is clear. We should be able to enter now. An evil weather studio. This must be where the weatherman has been making his broadcasts from. But where is he? Evil weather studio. I'm gonna guess he's behind all these annoying robots. Those are generic standard 180 weather bots. My parent class was GS 180, but these do not look very friendly. <laughs> not friendly at all. Nope. Hmm. This is a standard weather bot programming terminal, but some unusual modifications have been made. This must be how the weatherman reprogrammed all those weather bots into evil bots. Hmm. We should be able to reprogram them into weather bots again. Okay. Author, G Money. I love this. Download count to allows direct access to neural net of various generic generic bots. Alright, thank you for downloading Cracker Hack, the late night hacker's tool for reprogramming weather bots. This nifty little app allows you to change the disposition of Weatherbot series 180 bots. Due to the negligence of an overworked programmer, it is really a it is a relatively simple matter to reprogram the primary attitude of the GS180 series of Weatherbot. The neural net diagram can be accessed via the public domain software CrackerHack, which can be found among other places at www.badguy.com destruction.global. All right. I kind of want to visit that website, but I kind of think it's a bad idea. Let's see what badguy.com is. Is it porn? Is it parked? What is it? Yeah, it's a standard, just parked website. Nothing interesting. Nothing interesting at all. That's sad. 
Uh, the typical robot's neural net consists of seven positive green and seven negative red ion packets. To reprogram a bot's attitude, the entire net must be reinstalled. Start by clicking on the top red packet. Cracker Hack will diagnose the net and show you the next available packets. Your progress is monitored as the indicator on the dot below the diagram. Continue alternating red, green, red, green until you've traversed the entire net. Clicking on the same packet again will take you back one move. The series can also be reset to the beginning if you get stuck. Keywords, crazy, weather, insane, evil. Brought to you by the Austin Association of Schlacklers. Not responsible for rampant global destruction at the hands of the evil weather bots. All right, so it's a maze. And we need to do a full traversal. And that doesn't work. Okay. That node... Okay, I can go from there to there to there. This node is, is effectively dead now, though, so that doesn't help me. Oh, no, it's not dead. Okay, never mind. Misread the maze. I th think this is fine. Oh, it doesn't connect. Oh, it was so close. Okay, I think this is still the right start. I'll try a different side. It's like... There are options. Okay, those two don't connect. So there's an edge counting thing I probably should be doing here if I wanted to be smart about this. That's an if. I definitely need to, like, tackle a, a side first, because, like, there's connectivity through the middle. Oh, these all connect up, too. I guess it isn't quite as bad as I thought. I still think this as an opener isn't bad. But that doesn't connect to that. And that's the problem. So I eat, I eat this node too early. I think I need to go instead of... Maybe? Okay. I'm definitely kind of just... doing this based upon how I feel about it. This connects to two red nodes. It's either got to be there or there. This connects to that red node. But then that's a dead end. No, it's not. I can go back through there. But this dead ends it. Okay, so I definitely need to like, take care of this side first before moving on to the other side, I think. Okay, and then the problem here is this one clearly has to connect to the bottom one. Like, it has to connect to this one. So that has to be, like, last. This node clearly has to be last, actually, because it only has so many edges on it, I think. Go here, go here... Oh, wait, no, that's that's the opposite of what I wanted. That one has to go there, so we have to do this one, and then this one? No, because then that doesn't do the work. I do this one. It connects the middle. So really, I need to traverse this node earlier in the process. Cause, like, the final move set is probably that. No, wait, that can't be the final node. Cause... No, that is the final node. Okay, yeah. Mm. Okay. Actually, no. Um, can I go back a node? Back a node. How about this one? No, because then that then I got to end up with the same sort of problem. That doesn't connect to that one. Maybe I need to save that la that one in the middle for last. Well, hmm. Okay, okay, I don't like that. This one... I have to save that node for last. No way, I completely forgot about the right side there. And then that's non-traversable, okay. 
But keep thinking about it. Can't be that hard in the grand scheme of things. But this entire setup doesn't work as much as I like it. Because then I go through the middle and that one's dead. What if I do bounce to here and that's still a dead end? Why did I bounce to that one earlier? You know what? Let's try the left side. Let's just try working the left side this time instead. Okay, actually, no, because that... And I can go here. But then I've, I've disconnected that part of the graph. Oh, graph theory. I think, actually, this might work. No, hold up. Um, go here first. Ah, no, it does not work. I just noticed that the two ends are evil and good. I like that. Very straightforward in its morality. It always feels right, but it's wrong. I've done that one multiple times. I do that cycle. Hmm, it's still possible to traverse from one side to the other, but only through this node. So that would have to go last, which is basically the same bad problem I've had before. Like, these middle nodes are really highly contested. Or so I think. No, because then that's going to cut the graph there. It's a surprisingly difficult problem. It's the kind of thing I probably would have written a program to solve if I actually cared. And I've disconnected this again. This, I think, will work. Yes! You have an excellent career ahead of you as a weather hacker. Since the bots are a bit more friendly now, let us go see what they were guarding. Thank fuck. Anything else in here? We looked at that. We can't take the box. Oh, hey, it's our boss. It's good to see you again. You kid, here it was. I thought I was saving you, and you come along to save me. Look, that wacko stuck me in here so he could make me watch him destroy the world using the crystals on that weather map. You gotta get me out of here. There's a key to this cell. Looks sort of like a tornado. What? Try and find that. Millibar, keep your pal safe, okay? Watch yourself, kid. There's a key in here that looks like a tornado. All right, we have to go look at the evil weather... Either web, uh, Locations, evil weather map. Three crystals on the map correspond exactly to the sites of the three weather control centers we have discovered. Hmm. The crystals have the same energy signature as the control centers too. The weatherman must have taken these crystals from the control centers, but for what purpose? Interesting. All right. Well, let's go you past. Be very careful. There is no telling what might lie beyond that door. Looks like an evil lounge. So you found me, have you? Well, well, well. After that little incident at the sunken city, I would have thought you smart enough not to meddle in my affairs. But still, I admire your perseverance. But all those bone pits you've been running around to, well, that's just a warm-up. The crystals I took from them have the real power. And with them, I can create such glorious, beautiful weather, the likes of which the human race has never seen and probably won't survive. Hmm. But just because I'm evil doesn't mean I can't afford you a sporting chance. I've been dying to play someone in a game of weather domination. Oh no. And you, you look like just the little... I'm gonna guess it's Othello. Right now. 
reverse year, whatever the hell people call it. Nope. Now hear this. <laughs> oh God. Uh, what? what? How the fuck? There's no way I'm gonna win this. And the, the game closed itself. I lost so badly that the game closed itself. It wasn't even a creepy pasta thing. It just I just lost. I don't think I can win that. He is fucking fast. Um. Yeah, and after he do the weather bot thing too, which sucks. Because I didn't write down the solution, so I didn't think I'd need it. Because I didn't expect I to fight him in. Gladiatorial combat. Have you considered cheating? I like that. So, it's not a virtual machine. This this is the squiggle box. It's a legitimate computer. Um, I mean, I could eject the CD-ROM drive. That'd be the best way to demonstrate that, I guess. But, like, it's a real computer. Um, which means it's, it actually kind of is difficult for me to do that. Or Squiggles will demonstrate it by resetting the computer. That's a thing that's going to happen. Uh, I don't have a good plan for slowing it down. I didn't expect this to cause me so much problems. Um, what, what are my options here? See, 800 megahertz is a lot higher than they were expecting. Uh, not to mention the frequent, uh, was it like, where does it say up there? Yeah, 300 megabytes of RAM and change. It's a lot. Uh, Got to boot up into Makosoft, Makosoft Shindos. All right, what are my options for cheating? Open a bunch of programs. Well, I could probably do something like that. This could like write a whole bunch of infinite loops in Python or something, and that could, that could eat some CPU time. Yeah, Mr. Mayhem is Squiggles. That's his real name in real life. His real na name in real life is Squiggles. I mean... I can't try to get one of the Pentium one working. I don't sing cells anyway. It is will run on the 486. Run my yam. 486. So here's the thing, just to show you, show this to you really quick. Like, it, it was expecting a 486. So, met someone named Pebbles. That's a pretty good name. Um, you know, minimum 8 megabytes of RAM. This is why I set the uh, the colors and everything. The CD will warn you if it's not set correctly, and in fact, it, it will. So, we'll just have to try. But he's definitely cheating. And for a kid's game, kicking you out when you fail and having to redo it all is a dick move. Especially that puzzle. That puzzle was so, pain. And evil weather studio. This must be where the weather. Hmm. This is All right. Let's see if I can remember the path. No, that was like the made. second to last this one. Must be how the weatherman reprogrammed all those weather bots into evil bots. We should be able to reprogram them into weather bots again. Nope. This was not the way. Great. I don't know what my, my solution was. Remember when your friend was trying to install Heroes of Might and Magic 2 and it said no because he had didn't have enough RAM? Four gigabytes is less than five. Yeah. I heard the than six gig. Because <laughs> they used like a different way of of calculating it back then. I do happen to have a thing over here so I can actually just do this. So I don't want to do this again manually. Two, nine, seven, four. All right, I should be able to figure this out from here. There's eight. This is not the solution I did, but it's a solution that probably works just fine. There's probably multiple good solutions. You could have an excellent career. Many good solutions. Are a bit more friendly now. Not infinite. Okay. Well, you can't save right before this. Be very careful. There is no telling what might. 
All right, well, let's see what happens when I lose. And see if it actually kicks us out if we just get a bad ending. Why don't you have that pesky blattering barrel of yours fix me a smart cocktail? <laughs> All right. Oh. That was just him gloating. <laughs> you fool! You thought you could dominate me? Well, you and your little infobot are in for quite a surprise, let me tell you that. Oh, but first I should probably turn all my bots back to evil. Nice try, though. Close, but no banana. <laughs> Too bad. So sad. Better luck next time. But there isn't going to be a next time. <laughs> Hello, world! Nice day for a forecast, don't you think? Well, here it is. I forecast beautiful at seven tornadoes, gorgeous, torrid hurricanes, storms, crisp, white lightning, floods, hail, ice. Why, it makes me tingle just to think about it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, he's getting a bit into it. Too much into it, honestly. So allow me to close by saying, welcome to the last day of the rest of your lives. Well, that's the bad end. Here's a bunch of what generic weather clips. We got these from PBS. Uh, as far as bad ends go, that was pretty badass at least. You know, he actually got what he wanted. Unfortunately, it boots me back out again. All right. Well, let's see what we can do. Let's start hacking. Well, one. Oh, wait, this is that. Well, true. Uh, print. LOL. Save this in C colon. Python. Do I need two, three? No, it's just regular Python. Slow.py. <laughs> that would have been perfect, wouldn't it? All right, let's see. Let's see what happens. We're throwing science at the wall, and we're going to see what happens. All right. Well, it doesn't feel slower. But if we launch enough of them, something will happen. Okay, yeah, you know what? I'd say this is feeling slower now. Let's see if this helps. It's going to be hard to tell. <laughs> We're in the mainframe. That took... No, that really didn't take significantly more time either way. This always took a certain amount. This is take. Oh, is that longer? I don't know. So this is where you live. I would say things feel marginally slower, but not substantially slower. Evil Weather Studio. This. Hmm. This is a standard Weatherbot programming terminal. Okay. One. Five. Two. Nine. We should be able to reprogram them into Weatherbots again. Nope. I should probably follow the, the path a little bit better. Or just reset because I didn't actually pay attention to what I was doing. One, five, two, nine, seven, four. There we go. Good job. You could have an How come I still have a stick in my inventory? Since the bots are a bit more friendly now, let us go see what they were guarding.
All right, let's see if this makes a difference. This game goes out to all the people who are always whining about the weather. You know? The weather whining. Nope, that didn't help. All right. Let's try to keep fork bombing myself, I guess. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think we might be stuck with that ending. Unless there's like a real, unless anyone's aware of a good slowdown program that's not this. So I don't think this is actually working, but it's really hard to tell because there's no like convenient way to tell that I'm actually, you know, fucking it over. Like, it only feels like it's getting marginally slower when I'm trying to launch them. I'm just not certain it's actually helping. Copy of that famous virus. Which famous virus? 1995. I don't think 1995 really had any really famous viruses. Like, I definitely feel like launching this, this many of these things is, uh, is causing problems. But I don't think they're causing enough problems. Try again. Like, you can see Windows is kind of starting to have problems. That's a good sign. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Open a bunch of Chrome tabs. The one that opens a bunch of windows for lols. I mean, that's a type of resource exhaustion attack. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately Chrome will not acquiesce to run. The best I can do is like old, old Firefox. But I don't think my strategy here is working. Evil Weather Studio. This must be where the weatherman has been. Hmm. This is a standard weather bot. All right, one more try. One five. Must be how the weatherman reprogrammed all those evil bots. We should be able to reprogram the bots again. Seven. Four. All right, got to do this one first. This wouldn't be so bad if I didn't have to do this every fucking time. All right, let's see if we're lucky. I, I don't buy this as a game of skill. I also like that the things are changing. Yeah, his weather's unstoppable. I got Russia! Oh, he got Canada, though. You know, of all the things that could have happened, that's pretty cool. Uh, I, I think it might be suspending these. Or, no, it's clearly not suspending them when I'm doing this, because, like, I actually do get the... the, the I, just, I just need, like, more. I need more. <laughs> more lols. Windows did not have the concept of uh, letting you of priority. I suppose not. We're trying though. I'm I'm gonna keep going. Either this computer's gonna crash from Python overload, or we're gonna beat this. One or the other. One or the other. We have all the lol power. It's the best we can do. Uh, yeah, priority doesn't exist in Win98. Like, it just, programs don't think of the world that way. Windows 98 programs still kind of own the world, unless they're being, uh, really kind. But yeah, we might just have to pull up and open in YouTube and hope. We can see, like, Windows is kind of bogging down here. More 20 scenes. Here's the rest of it. Yeah. It's quite clear that, like, just this game is not designed for this level of awesome computerness. Squiggles did too good of a job making this awesome computer um, for Windows 98. It's a shame that, like, what I'm being held back by is the Weatherman's stupid action game. Like, I did adequately on my 
adventuring. I mean, not perfect, but adequately. All right, so how much lol do we have? A fuck ton. Open a few more. And then we'll see if we can still launch the program itself. In before it's impossible. It's not, uh, it's, it's feeling that way. It's frankly feeling that way. It's kind of a drag, really, because, like, I was so close. But for some reason, people love to end their adventure games with silly action sequences. But you can tell, like, stuff is getting bogged down at least a little bit. We got a lot of lol going on, though. Uh, let's clear the desktop. Try again. In before impossible. Look, it's taking a while to boot. We have a shot here. There is a small chance we have succeeded in what we set out to do. Or the game crashed or Windows crashed, one or the other. Um, can I... Numpad is not happy. Blob is feeling psychedelic. It's definitely slower now. Just look at it go. And by go, oh, I mean not go. I think, nope, that's still about the same speed. I think it doesn't matter. Yeah, that felt about the same speed as last time. So, this is where you... Don't forget to get good. It's what I wish. Like, Windows itself is bogged down, clearly. But this game seems immune to it. Oh, right. Five, two. We should be able to reprogram them in the weather bots again. Uh, nine, seven, okay. There, wait. Ah, oh, I forgot what the actual plan here was. Okay, there we go. Good job. You could have an excellent career ahead of you as a weather. We must be very careful. All right. I, I think that if it doesn't work here, we just have to yield. No, absolutely fucking not. See, you get to use your mouse. This game goes out to all the people who are always whining about the weather. You know, the weather whiner. Well, I got three. That's better than I've done before. Yeah, I think, and you can tell, like, Windows itself is unhappy, but I think when it reaches into, like, the, the mode of operation that that thing's doing, it uh, it's just fine. I think we may have to, uh... To see what we can do about just watching the ending. Because I wanted to see the ending, but like, it's stuck. And my attempts to slow it down have not succeeded. And in fact, now the computer is largely inoperable. Well, not largely, but still. There's also no such thing as P-Kill on here. Oh, God. List of slowdown. They all sound kind of scary. That's not... I mean, worse comes to worse. There's nothing bad... There's nothing on this machine that isn't A, backed up. Um, and B isn't just available. Let's test if this works. Because I want to remove all these Python instances without actually having to close them all. Okay, it worked. All right. Yeah, post me a link. I might give it a shot. We can, we can at least try. But like, I'm, I'm roughly out of ideas here. Outside of, you know, actual slowdown utilities that people have written that actually work. Vogons? Okay, that should still work on this. Alright. I'm gonna get up for a quick stretch break while we boot here. I'll be right back. It should not surprise any of you that I'm familiar with Vogons, because when you're doing retro computing stuff, they come up fairly frequently. Retrozilla! Okay, Vogons... Org. 
We're going to cheat on this. See, look, it kind of works. Yes, I know. Um, T equals... View topic. T equals 44. CPU grab says it can work on Windows on 8. Maybe. Many utilities could break your system if you're going to take some searching and find it with XP. At slow, an alternate slowdown that works well on these. Okay. Using real time chip. This is a P3. Um, direct show can be used to slow CPUs. It features a small slider. Yeah, you know what? Let's try it. This isn't sketchy at all. You can see what I've downloaded. Hooray, virus. Okay, CPU grabbed. And look! Oh, Zuccotti just posted TTS. I was like, what the hell is all that shit? That explains everything. Okay, start. Doesn't feel slower. Stop. Maximum power! Yeah, that, that feels marginally slower. Let's see if it works. 99 might have been a bit too much. But we can back off from there. Oh, it probably went off and I didn't dab the other earbud in. Perpetual journey of getting Mikto to say what you want. I would say the Psychedelic Rat is a good sign. The Hourglass is a really good sign. Perhaps too good of a sign. The Wave is also a good sign. You know, I should have tried this with EcoQuest. It might have worked. Yeah. That's, uh, that's fair. That reminds me, I need to fix it so it doesn't always affix the names. I think it's probably the, pro it's a problem with my base class. I think we're going to have to, uh, to bring it up a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh. Oh. Look at that! It's actually slow! We have proven this works. It's possible now that we could beat this if it loads. Right, let, let's actually exit so we can give us back about, I don't know, let's see, 8%. It said, what, was, what did it say that we wanted in the readme? It's not let's go, let's slow. All right, so stop first, clearly. Um, it said in the readme we were looking to aim at like a 486 at 66 megahertz. So we can do a little bit of math there to kind of get to where we want to go. Uh, 66 preferred, okay. 25 megahertz. So we could actually do like this. Let's say, let's say that'd be about 40. Um, let's say that. Let's try that. So the problem with wanting to go with over... Oh, wait, what am I doing? Uh, downside that. Fair enough. All right, this is still really slow, but very much more accurate to the 486 life. Because I had a 486 once and ran Windows 98 on it, and yeah, things took forever to load. You know, I I'm feeling optimistic. So here's really where the test will begin that makes makes it uh, that we'll we'll know whether or not this is gonna work. Is when we when we load the game, which is is taking longer than usual, that's another good sign. Um, there's a bit of a load time in the vehicle before the cutscene plays. Dear lord. And if that actually like plays out, I think we have a good shot. Yeah, that was still pretty fast. This is taking longer. I remain cautiously optimistic. This is taking embarrassingly fast, or embarrassingly slow. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, yeah, you know what? I think this might work. I think this might work. A 
refrigerator, there is a, hmm, a lightning door. Not very troubling. It would amuse me if, like, partway through the speedrun of this, you actually had to go turn on the CPU crusher just so you could actually beat the final game. This must be where the weatherman has but you generally wouldn't want it on because, like, you could see here, it's struggling. Alright, back to the stupid grid. One, five, two, uh, is that seven? That's seven. That's nine. That's seven. Four. C. D. Six? Six. There's a point where the solution becomes obvious and I don't need to follow what they're doing anymore. You could have an excellent career ahead of you as a weather hacker. Since the bots are a bit more friendly now, let us go see what they were guarding. I feel like weather hacker is actually a thing. We must be very careful. Alright, here we go. Might lie beyond... <sighs> Cautiously optimistic. So... You... Um, you know what? I might be able to... Oh, wait, whenever I... Oh, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Whenever I leave, it randomizes the thing. So I can just put my cursor over a specific place. What's that? You're not ready to surf the Sahara? <laughs> and then see if it, it matches. And then if it doesn't, I can just ditch. When I get see? I just got Canada. I found a way to cheat this. H4X. It was the ultimate puzzle. At least not a puzzle of flesh. No, you don't get the better part of Europe. There we go. We got the United States. Okay, I need to find a way to enter this. That works better. Oh yeah, I should get that. Nope, no South Africa for you. I would not have been able to do this without the slowdown, though. I, need, I needed the slowdown to be able to see where things are. Underneath his cursor, he didn't even get it. There we go. I got another one. I'll give you a quarter, and you get that overgrown alarm clock away from me. Ooh, a quarter. I could buy another yum yum bar. Like, he's going to get Japan. No doubt about that. But if we can get, like, the bigger land masses, we, don't, we only have to beat him by half, right? We don't have to beat him entirely. And I just got that part of Asia. This game goes out to all the people who are always whining about the weather. You know, the weather whiners. I can't believe I just got Indonesia. This is the worst way to play this. Aha! I got Russia! I'm surprised Japan gets its own region here. Oh, he got, he got like, turkey. No! Turkey, so delicious. I got India. Nope. No South America for you. No South Africa for you either. Why can't I get Eastern Europe? Oh, actually... Interesting. It, it is actually going in that order. Like, it, it's more like uh, pressure luck than pure RNG, if that makes sense to anybody out there. Of course, it rolls when I'm not ready for it. No! 
No, 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 yes. I destroy the world and you get a fabulous prize. Uh, Weather Whiner. What is this game? Uh, all right, so the synopsis so far. Um, we're fighting the Weatherman. The Weatherman is a villain who hates the nice weather that exists in Arizona, apparently. Um, and now we're fighting him in a game of weather domination, which I had to slow down the CPU immensely to get. Like, we have not... This is the best I've done, but I am severely cheating, as you can, you can see. There we go. If I get South America, too, I'll be happy. Nope, you can't have South Africa right now. No, no, yes. All right, I, th I think I've won this, but I still want to, like, embarrass him. Ah, I got a chunk of Africa. Nope. This game was designed in mind for a 25 megahertz 486. You can imagine why this might be a bit of a challenge on the 300 and change megahertz, or 800 megahertz Pentium 3 that is this computer. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't have Japan. I got Japan. Oh, no, I didn't get Japan. It's just really hard to see. No. Got to get his cursor away from Japan. Oh, we got Japan. Well, darn. I just want to get Australia. There we go. South Africa is next. Also, this, this entire movement scheme is one of the worst I've ever had in a video game. There we go. I beat him. I embarrassed him. Which only happened because we slowed the CPU the fuck down. No way you could have beaten me. It's inconceivable that you could have beaten me. Well, that's one of the perks of being evil. I don't have to keep my word. Ah, I'm going to destroy the world anyway. And there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're supposed to be after them, you moronic hunks of metal. Please, listen to me. Oh, I get it. You've been reprogrammed. But isn't that just too much? <laughs> I guess this throws those bonus privileges right out the window. <laughs> no more WD-40 for you guys. <laughs> That's the last time I read any Star Wars videos. Battlestar Galactica is completely out. <laughs> I love this man. I absolutely love this man. <laughs> Favorite villain I've seen in a long time. Okay. The question is, do I feel optimistic that I can do this? Oh, good. We're free from the tyranny of slow. Ah, I found the tornado key. And it got rid of my stick! Oh, my, wood, my stick's still here. I just couldn't see it. <laughs> Um, what is this game? That is a really good question. I think it's supposed to be educational, but we've all discovered it really isn't. Oh, hey, here we go. Evil Weather Studio Interior Day. Weatherman. Hello, world. Nice day for a forecast, don't you think? Well, here it is. I forecast beautiful F7 tornadoes. Gorgeous. Torrid hurricanes. Storms of crisp white lightning. Floods. Hail. Ice. It just makes me tingle to think about it. Stops and takes a deep breath. <gasps> and so, allow me to close by saying, welcome to the last day of the rest of your lives. Yeah, we saw that bad end earlier. Nice to see we can actually read it again, though. Um, yeah, I guess all that there's left to do is actually free our boss, and hopefully he gives us a raise for all of this nonsense. It's good to see oh, we have to watch this cutscene again. Kid, here it was, I thought I was saving you, and you come along to save me. Different cutscene. Look, that wacko stuck me in here so he could make me watch him destroy the world using the crystals on that weather map. You gotta get me out of here. There's a key to this cell. Looks sort of like a tornado. All right, yeah, we did watch the scene before. Tornado key, please. Boop. Thanks, kid. You've done a real good job. Hooray! Beyond the call of duty. Now I gotta take the weatherman back before he can cause any more damage. Is that? Oh. I am detecting a broadband transmission of unknown origin. Is there something else we have to do? I'm not sure it's GG yet. Must be returned. Return the crystals to their cradle. The balance of the weather must be restored. Return the crystals to where they belong. Oh. Well, I'm not sure what all that business was about, but you guys can fill me in later. Millibar, you and your friend better put those crystals back where they're supposed to go. We may be in for, I don't know what. 
I'll take care of the weatherman. I want to keep an eye on him. Oh, no shit. See you both back at headquarters. All right. Well, um, yeah. Wait, there's more. You're not wrong. Guess I need the crystals. The locations of those three crystals on the map correspond exactly to the sites of the three weather control centers we have discovered. Okay. The crystals have the same energy signature as the control centers too. Cool, I have them. The I must guess have taken these crystals from the control centers. We leave. But for what purpose? Uh, there's the exit. Get in our boat. And let's see what happens. I have reset our navigational system and activated the autopilot. The storm runner will fly us back to each of the weather control sites we have visited, in turn. I think that, that might... Received ...must have been a warning left by the ancients. If it is correct, we should be able to undo the damage that the weatherman has caused by replacing the crystals at each location. At least, I hope we can. Yeah. Remember, this is an educational game. ...range of the Salisbury Plain and Stonehenge in a few minutes. However, I'm receiving radio broadcasts of abnormal weather from across Britain. A pink snowstorm in Edinburgh, frogs raining in London... That happens in London, though. Yeah, I think this is it. This is just the cutscene to the end. Crystal back. Now that the crystal has been replaced, the energy signatures I previously detected are beginning to fade. But the weather shows no signs of improving. This is how you solve global climate change. You gotta put the crystals back. But the global weather patterns remain unbalanced. However, we still have the third and final crystal to return to Atlantis. Now that the last crystal has been replaced, I am locking in a course for Team Extreme Headquarters. So they totally reuse that cutscene. Or deal with the aftermath. Atlantis is beginning to fade from my sensors. I do not know if we can locate it again. Somehow that is probably fortunate. I doubt that we are ready to control the weather. With that much power comes a great deal of responsibility. <sighs> a triangle. Excellent work. Should have been an octagon. ...from all around the world that the abnormal weather has disappeared as suddenly as it appears. The global weather systems have apparently been rebalanced and returned to normal. Hooray! He asks that we join him and the other operatives in the main hall. Everybody puts on their party hats! Including Simple Jack. Looks like everything's back to normal. And on my way over, I left the weatherman someplace. Uh, he won't be getting into any more trouble. <laughs> Say, Millibar and anybody, you doing okay? I am not your little. Yes, I am doing fine. Thank you. Oh, simple Jack. Say, you got anything to eat? <laughs> got the stick. You did a spectacular job out there, mate. That weatherman guy was a real loon. Yeah? I'm just glad you and your friend are okay, Millibar. It was looking close there. You guys worry too much. I knew they'd do just fine. After all, they're Team Extreme. <laughs> extreme! <laughs> yeah, it's my pleasure to make you a full-fledged member of Team Extreme. That is, if it's all right by you. Wait, what? This was actually one of the easier missions I remember. The next one might be really tough. I don't know if I want to be a member of your group if Nimrod's in there. All right, well, we succeeded. We saved the weather. And we know the weatherman never, ever, ever got into trouble again because there's not a sequel that I've already installed on this machine that we will not be playing today. Um, and in fact, you can probably already noticed that it was just sitting right here. You have the... Uh, Eco Nightmare, the sequel, which is designed for a slightly higher spec of PC because it was released like four years later. Or not, it's designed for exactly the same spec of PC. I suppose that's probably going to come in handy next time I do this. Anyway, we saved the world on Earth Day. Demo? Fine. Fine, we'll do the demo. I don't know what we're going to see in the demo, but we'll do the demo. Demo. Click to start. Oh, this is... The Beer Hunter? <laughs> the interactive guide to the Beer Renaissance. Um, the Beer Hunter is the essential guide for anyone who appreciates great beer. Authoritative text, photographs, and video clips are designed to fill you in on the history and art of brewing and a guide on where to find American microbreweries. I bet most of those ones that are there are either bought out or closed, given this disc is circa 1994. Enter your own notes. Oh, thanks, Presonator. I'm doing well. How you doing? 
And no, I did not actually want to do five more just because the guy was a, a budget uh, Jack Black. I felt there should have been an octagon. Just my opinion, man. Just my opinion. I got to find out who actually did that one. Uh, Enter your phone specific notes on brands and how your choices compare with host Michael Jackson? Wait, what? Michael, is it that? Wait, maybe it's a different Michael Jackson. Is that Michael? No, that's not. Michael Jackson? Okay, you know what? I might have to find a copy of this if Michael Jackson is the person doing the, the the beer thing here. Oh god, that was painful. But it, these are all like just weird interactive multimedia things for the most part. I guess there's a screensaver. How animals move. No. Ooh, Nile, passage to Egypt. That could actually be fun. Um View 30 minutes of capturing video and Twitter photographs. Go on a 3D tour. Play the Egyptian favorite game. And uh, No, that's not an adventure game. This is literally just a bunch of pictures. Never mind. Normandy. What? Oh, Ocean Planet. No wonder that wasn't what I was expecting. Yeah, that's more of what I was expecting with Normandy. <laughs> what, what is this? Uh, Professor Iris's fun field trip. Animal safari packed with activities for young children. Your kids will discover animals and friends with Professor Iris in the game for the popular children's television series on the Learning Channel. These characters, music videos, and games will entertain while the story <laughs> educates and amuses. Oh, man. And we can do this again. Uh, not quite as funny the second time around, though. Sharks! Sharks is a fascinating, full of fascinating facts and fables that will give you a new outlook on the most mysterious creature of the deep. You direct the program to the easy-to-use menu. Watch a video from the Discovery Channel's vast shark library. Ah, uh, that's where they keep Shark Week. Shark Week. Or view any of the 200 photographs full screen. Why is it always 200 photographs? You can search for immediate access to shark topics that interest you the most. Or explore through all seven categories on this entertaining and content-rich CD-ROM. Why do they have the system requirements? I like, like, screenshots? Wow. That's nothing. Uh, whales, 200 photographs. Wings, 200 photographs? Doesn't say anything about 200 photographs. Huh. But yeah, these all appear to be just like multimedia DVD things that aren't nearly as entertaining as what we just did, I suppose. Last time you checked, Michael Jackson didn't have a beard. Yeah, he never really did go that direction. I'm really curious. I might go and find a copy of The Beer Hunter, and that might be something we have to do during a uh, PC stream at some point. <laughs> because why not? Credits? Oh man, credits for this? Wow, look at those credits. Did we actually see... We didn't see the credits for, um... Made with Macromedia, so I was right about that. You know, we never actually saw the credits for, uh... The game we just beat, so we probably should do that. Since there, that's an option. Let's see. Quick, uh, load game. Do, do, do. Exit. Exit. Uh, save game, because I don't know how else to do it. Quit. There we go. Now I can see credits. Discovery Channel. Team Extreme. Operation Weather Disaster for Discovery Media. Producers. Product team. Lead, I don't know any of these people. Not surprising given that they were making multimedia CDs. But here they are. All of these people that were involved in making this game. What if they'll tell us who was the characters? Executive producer. P PC port? Oh, this must have come out on Mac OS first, actually. That makes sense. 3D modeling. Wow. Fewer people in graphics than I was expecting. Talent. Bill Wise. Who the fuck is Bill Wise? Apparently Beer Hunter is a TV show. Full episodes are on YouTube. Interesting. But is it actually narrated by the Michael Jackson we're thinking of? That's the real question. Oh. <laughs> Fair point, Squiggles. We'll look at that again. We'll look at that uh, in a second. <laughs> I was going to look up at who Bill Wise was. Bill Wise actor. Does this guy actually have, like, reasonable credits? The bearded fellow's just named Michael Jackson. What? That's lame. All right, let's see if this is the right person. He looks like the right person. Voice actor. Oh, this guy's actually had like a lot of stuff he did. He was in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Next Generation. He's been in a lot of things, but very few things I've heard of and where I can see he was in them. He kind of was clearly not important. Presuming he is the same. He was Knuckles the Echidna? Huh. Alright, fair enough. Uh, and he isn't... Maybe it's a different Bill Wise. Look at like a Moby game that's linked here. 
I really want to know. This is a really w bad waste of time. <laughs> Maybe not. I'll have to look it up later, I guess. Let's see who else. Um, I just want to know who the weatherman is. I like this guy. I like him a lot. He was entertaining. This was fun enough that I actually do want to play the second one, but not today. 